So what's going on, Internet? Can you hear me? Did you miss me? So we got where we're streaming. We're streaming Houdini. Sorry, I'm just catching my breath. I just ran in the door. I'm like, oh, I gotta get in. Uh, I put a dollar in there. He gave me three quarters. So I would suggest not doing that. Let's see. Osric, what's up, dude? Osric, Lemon, Lemon Haif. Can you guys hear? Look, I'm gonna tilt this so. Oh, look, uh, look at that, look at that. There we go. So I don't look so short. So we got a brand new, a brand new computer. I would turn the camera to show you, but it's attached to the computer. More beard, look, I can keep lowering the, okay, you want me, you want me, get, you want me get lower? You want me get lower? Can I go lower? I'm just kidding. It's a mature stream, but it's not that mature. So, What's up, dude? I brought you. Sh oh, brought your shirt if you want it. Okay. Yeah. This is for Harry, and that's for. Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks, sir. Are you the uh, creative? Uh, yeah, actually. So myself and uh, my wife Beck. I think you might have met her before. Yeah. yeah, we both do the art, and then uh, all that jazz. I trust you. If you didn't have it, I wouldn't have stressed out. Yep, that's it. I had it in the car, so if it's a little cold, that's why. If it's too big, I'll take a request. Okay, so I had it. Yo, I'm muting the camera so you guys don't hear my super good idea while I talk to Dennis. Hold on. <laughs> Right now, now I can talk again because my super secret, super cool idea I've talked about with Dennis. Eric, I have your stuff. Oh, because and and because you didn't pay us online, right? Yeah, because we talked about that. But like thirty-five bucks, not forty, because you were one of our early adopters when our prices were higher. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. 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 Yo, I'm down. These folks. Oh my god, I am so sweaty and gross. Me too, I just, uh, I was watching win? Cops. I, won, I did. Did you win? Did. Wait, who'd you play Earth Shaker? Corey. Did you beat him? I beat him. He was suggested, he that's, uh, that's two wins, zero losses. Good, good. SpaceX rocket with a beard, that's exactly right. Yo, SpaceX sent a rocket to space today with a car attached to it. A Tesla Roadster, yeah. not just any car. With, with still. With a Tesla Roadster attached to it, would you play a Tesla pinball machine? A hundred percent. Would you play a SpaceX pinball if, machine? Well, yes, but I, if we're going, talking about Tesla, I'd rather Nikolai Tesla, not Tesla the car well, yeah. company. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what Jeff said last week. He was like, oh, if, we did a, if they did a Tesla game, that'd be awesome. Could you imagine, I'd though, play... with like two Tesla coils on the play field, so they like zap each other? Yeah. And no, when no. you like throw the ball between them and zaps, them, that'd be amazing. Sorry. I'm just going to get an Apollo 13 and retheme it to Tesla Space or SpaceX. It'll be fantastic. Yo, I want a boring company flamethrower. I'm I just don't. putting that out there. I don't. I think he doesn't need one. I, I want one. I'm he going to that parade one. on Thursday for the Eagles. And, this dude, uh, this dude is going to sleep at my house on Wednesday night because I live in the city, so he can go 
to the Eagles parade. Meanwhile, I have to wake up early Thursday and still go to work. That's right. Ridiculous. That's right. Sorry, Matt. So how's everybody doing? You guys, you guys good? You need, uh, you need any drinks? <laughs> Do you need a refreshment? Anyway, wait. We're here. We're here with Houdini. That's what we're doing. And we're watching and Pete uh, soil the bedsheets. Pete, you need some money. <laughs> you need some money? <laughs> also, going back to the beard Illuminati, I've said it once, I've said it before. Uh, when we touch our beards, it's like the fucking avatar. Yeah, just, we're not going to do it. We're not going to do it. Informa- yeah, we don't want to give away the secret, but... Yeah. Yeah. It is the Illuminati for beards. Yeah, you know, I might I might put a game up on Houdini. You should. It's only $7,000? Yeah. For all the shit oh. that's in there? Stuff it's only $250 deposit, too. Oh man! Yeah. So I could make installments for thirty years. <laughs> Woo! It's a thousand dollars for TNA, which I guys, guys, I cannot wait for TNA tomorrow. I love that game. Wait for TNA. Oh, we're streaming TNA tomorrow. We are. We are. Get your quarters ready and put on your boner pants because it's gonna get out of hand. All right, guys. So serious thought. When I was driving in here tonight, I was thinking about unlicensed pinball machine theme so nothing like not like a rock band not like an anything and if you could pick an unlicensed theme what is the theme that you would pick because happy i determined birthday. happy birthday <laughs> i determined mine would be mozzarella sticks um <laughs> the mozzarella pizza. sticks the, th- the pinball machine i mean pizza is not a bad thing no just either. just mozzarella sticks i wouldn't even do if, if, if pizza was the option i would just do pizza crusts the pinball what? machine pizza, pizza crust. crust that's the worst part of the pizza unless there's cheese in it. Yeah, I know. That's why it'd be funny. Puppy puppers? Oh, be, puppy yo, puppers, the yo, pinball machine. Yo, Doggo, the pinball machine? That'd be <laughs> hilarious. You've got like woofer and bork mode, <laughs> little puppers mode. That, that'd be awesome. The pupper pops. All right. All right. I wait, like wait, that wait. idea. Lemon. So now, now we're playing new game. Wait. What ball's in? I don't even know. I think ball, the ball, lights. Ball two. The lights. I looked at the lights. Ball two. The colors, right. Duke. The Real, colors. Real talk. We're Give a, me we're that tea, do, honey. We're going to do... <laughs> Alright, so apparently he just locked ball one, uh, a, a thing I'm terrible at. I can't make the ball lock shot. I know it's doable, I oh, just can't do shake it. shake it around, Pete. You can see the chains <laughs> moving. <laughs> Alright, do you want to sit? I can no, move if you no, want to sit. No, I'm just sit. hanging out. I'm just, Is Harry here? I'm breathing on your shirt. No, yeah, he's here. On. Is he Jeff is here? here? Jeff is here. Oh yeah, I saw Jeff playing. Hey, how's it going? Here. How are you? Good. Everybody's here. Houdini. We're, we're, stream, we're streaming. You want to say hi to the internet? Come on, say hi to the internet. Come on, say hi to the internet. If you play Houdini, they're going to see you anyway. You should. I'm not sure. Can't you play the song tournament anywhere, even if you're not in the main tournament? I don't know. You should ask that. I'm going to start writing my scores in anyway. Screw it. Well, I'm going to go play some games. No, it's not Sarah. It's Nicole. I heard you beat Jeff's high score on Spider-Man. Yeah, I beat Jeff's high score on Spider-Man. He was so mad. All right, so guys, you missed this because we didn't record it last week, but Jeff was playing Spider-Man, and he put up he put up a pretty decent score. He put, he put up 70. Like, I had a score up of, like, 70 million or something like that earlier in the day, and then he put up some score like, 74 million. And, like, we were both feeling kind of crappy. We were like, man, we're going to leave. And he's like, well, I'm going to go to the bathroom first. I'm like, all right, well, I'll play a game of Spider-Man while you go to the bathroom. So like I'm playing Spider-Man, and he comes back out, and out of nowhere, I like like I just I put up like well, no it was it was out of nowhere because I was on ball three, my score was dog shit garbage, my score was garbage. I'm not even playing you anymore. There's no children here. And I put I put up like a hundred and a hundred and some million, just like nothing on ball three, and then he's like, but I just set the new high score, and I'm like, well, it looks like I just set the new high score. Oh, we had stuff on the microphone. Are you playing that again? The way, the one game playing, I'm going to play it again. You want to you cover this yeah, a little bit? I'm going to play some Houdini with Pete. So, hi guys. Oh no, I just spelled my fives. Uh, every time I sit down after Matt sits, I feel like I'm like, hi guys. It's a little guy. That's why they call me microaggression. So let's watch Matt get mad at Houdini. Ah, round. shit. Wait, are you in the tournament? All right, well, Matt, okay, I'm gonna have to go three. play, so. Well, 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 so you can watch me play for a minute? I think they're good. Matt Zickowitz. 
Craig Franklin, Centaur 2. No, I think that's total money put in so far. Top two, Tony Let me see what I'm playing. Right oh, yeah? Yeah. What are we Steve playing? Haberman, Chris Thomas, oh, awesome. All right. I'm going to go play Pin Daddy on Split Second. John Shackle, Hobbit, Front Room, Right Side, all the way up the end. Jeffrey Shopshire, Iron Man, Front Room, oh, Right Side. Terrible. I don't know if you guys can hear me from over here. I'm sorry, I'm doing so poorly. Sean McDonald, Eric Ryan, Earthshaker, back room, middle aisle, right side. John Harlow, Tyler Graves, Spider-Man, front room, right side. Dave Sharp, Jerry F. Kerbach, Bride of Pinbach, front room, right side. Nick Wall, David Buckler, Cyclone, front room, right side. Mike Radowski, Bruce Tomey, Eight Ball Deluxe, back room, right side. John Wall, Dennis Dewar, Funhouse, front room, right side. It seems like it's still in the problem when I lock the ball and then it has to go into a box. We'll see. Dewar, right side. Rick Prince, Chris Chow, Mad Girls. Back room, left side, Dewar. Pizza Boris, Jerry C. Kerbach. Back room, oh, Fathom. Pizza Boris, Jerry C. Kerbach. Fathom. Back room. Middle aisle, right side. Tom Gustazio, Jonathan Singleton, Blackout, front room, left side. Harry Jackson, Scott Sargent, Kiss, Valley Kiss, front room, left side. Adam Scheibel, Ryan Young, Blue Chip, back room, left side. Brad Levitko, John Moran, Eva Thrones, front room, right side. And Joe Stokes, you are the ball.
See my sweet magic powers? I don't know if you guys could hear me. Is the mic? Oh, yeah, the mic's on. So uh, wasn't wasn't doing too hot. Oh wait, let's see. What's the chat say? Ah, oh, who needs side high score console? Oh, thank you, Lemon Half. Yeah, three strike tournament and 40, 41 people. It's absurd. And I get super salty because uh, I work until like seven fifteen. I work until like 7.15 and I only work like four miles down the road, but it starts at like 7, so I always get here like just a half hour too late. I'm not saying I get salty over that, but I might get a little salty over that. Also, I owe Pete a dollar because he lent me a dollar. I gotta go to the change machine a little bit. Are you $10? I got plenty of time to play DD now. Yeah, I'm going to play DD now. Oh, wait, did you just get knocked out? How the hell did you get knocked out? Who'd you play again? How are you out? Well, Pete's going to have plenty of time to play Houdini because he just got himself knocked out. I'm going to run to the change machine in a minute and get some change. Yeah, yeah, dude, absolutely, yeah. So maybe Pete could do better than me. <laughs> yep. <coughs> Sorry for the <coughs> coughing. I'm getting over a little bit of a cold. All right. So let's see what Pete can do here. Now that we're actually here, we can focus. So, a couple things. I still not am. Uh, I'm not 100% with the rules. I do know uh, you can hit the uh, um, the theater up there, get the theater to open, so that you can uh, start modes. I also know that the kind of flashing teal blue light there on the right hand side that I had such a hard time hitting is the ball lock, and it also seemed to start a mode for me in the last game. Uh, he just hit the far right scoop, which is kind of, I don't know if you want to call it a mini mode or something, but it tells you to hit certain shots, like certain pattern shots, so it'll be like, hit the ramp and then the loop, and then hit the ramp and then the loop, and then the outside orbit, or hit the blah, 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 blah. But, unfortunately, not much going on there. What is, what is oh, brutal, yeah, absolutely faster than, than four to a machine. Yeah, so uh, tournament, no, tournament nights are uh, two P, two players. Uh, to a machine, three strike knockout, so it goes pretty quick. 
Um, and then he always runs a side tournament on one of the games here, so this time it's Houdini. Um, and that's just a, a high score tournament. Uh, it's, it's, you know, we're all honest people here. It's trust based. You just write your scores down on a sheet of paper, which is right here. Although I should have recorded my score, it was higher than that. Hey, Lemon, Sarah, what's going on here? Sarah's here. Happy birthday! Wow! I know I'm like, you know. I forgot to mention that everybody today is Lemon Lemon Heif's birthday. Yeah. So right. go ahead and wish her a happy birthday. Happy birthday! She said yes, and then apparently an at sign by accident, and then an exclamation point, and then Sarah thanks. Hey, Josh from American Pinball. What's going on, dude? Welcome to the stream. So we just Josh. started a little while ago. How's it going, man? Want to make some room? You want to get in here? I'm mm. actually going to go smoke. Josh, it's great to see you. Thanks for joining us. That's so, super awesome. Yep, we are, we're here at the Pinball Gallery. The uh, high score side tournament is currently being run off Houdini. Um, everybody so far really seems to like it. Um, well, for me, it's going good. Uh, we're going to see how good it's going for Pete. I'm not going to say he just whiffed a, a whole game a little bit ago, but he might have. But, um, yeah, no, thoroughly enjoyable game. Uh, I have a hard time hitting the lock, but that's just me. Because I've watched other guys hit it like it's butter. Um, stuff, I don't know. I don't know if you want feedback, but I'll give you some. Um... I love, yeah, I don't know. I actually really, I really like it. Um, big fan of the art package, big fan of uh, the modes, big fan of how everything kind of ties together. Um, also, uh, I did not realize how cheap it was until just today. A uh, very reasonably priced game for all of the features in it. Wait, did you, you mean backhand the lock shot? Well, give that a shot. Oh wait, and, and Josh, clarify: developer, programmer, designer. What? Where? Where, where do you fall? Because I, uh, I I don't know honestly. I didn't do my homework. The next time I play, I'm gonna give the uh, give the uh, lock shot a backhand and see if I can do that. Also, I get endless amounts of fun. I don't know if you, saw, you probably weren't here yet. But I was just playing um, the rules, the code, and the anime. I want to talk to you about the animation because I think it's fantastic, and I like the old, the old timey kind of hokey style. That's not an insult. Pete, don't look too depressed. We have uh, we have the, the Josh. The uh, he did the rules, the code, and the animation of the game in the chat watching his play. I think, I think my first game was my best game ever. Ever since then, it's been going downhill. <laughs> well, he just said, I was, I was telling him, I have a hard time hitting the launch shot. He said, backhand it all day. The toys on this thing are like industrial strength, man. They're like, oh, they're yeah. built to take a beating, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love I was it. like, well, uh, well, like, the whole machine shakes. Yeah. I played it at, where did I play it? Allentown? York? I can't remember where you guys had it. And it was still early, so a lot of the animations looked like, uh, I think they kind of looked like drawings kind of a little bit. I'm really glad how the animations came out. I love, uh... I love that you were able to, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, putting kind of like, it's kind of a steampunk feel, but not quite. Um, but it makes sense with Houdini, with all the, the long locks and gears and things like that. It's super cool. Yeah, no, I love them. I love them. So, anybody else gives you grief about the animations, you just, I'm not even going to use the bad words I want to use. Um, also... Uh, when Houdini's eyes light up, quite possibly one of the spookiest things to look at in a pinball machine. <laughs> but uh, let's see. Do you have any questions? Well, we got like the, the new modes are in the game. Oh. Josh, uh, so uh, Pete, you want to be on the camera, Pete? You, you want to be on the camera? No. Pete, what, Pete, Pete here, local player, asks how many modes total are in the game?
Oh yeah, oh yeah, they look spookier on the stream. But I love it, I love it. I look at the red, I like that we're talking about the eyes light though. Okay, so 10 modes at the stage and 5 movie modes. Okay, that's cool. And we haven't yet today seen... Did you get the video mode earlier? Yeah. Yeah, we haven't seen, we haven't seen the video mode or anything like that. Um, although I've seen it earlier than today. Video... Wait, what do we got going on here? What is this? For the elephant. What's up, dude? But, oh, here we go. Ten modes at the stage, five movie modes, five hurry-ups, five combo. But well, those are not what I call a mode. Okay. How many, uh, modes? How many multi balls, Josh? Here we got like one of like the software and like like programmer dudes yeah. on the stream. I know. I was here on time. I know. Who, <laughs> I know who's watching. <laughs> You're judging me because I'm late. I'm sorry. I got a, I got a jab. Ah. And let's see the scoreboard right now. Only one person submitted a score, and that's Chris at 184,000 so far. Next, otherwise, I'm going to feed the beast again. You're going to go again? Go again, go again. <laughs> All right, so Pete's stepping back up. Local legend. Wait, can I do it like the sports guys from uh, from the Super Bowl? Do it, man. Can I do it from... How did the sports guys talk? Hold on, I'm trying to remember. Local legend, Pete Sapora, is stepping up to the machine. His no, third to attempt. If you want to go off like the guys from the Super Bowl... You gotta sit there and be like, well, I don't know, I think that ramp shot's gonna get overturned. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Josh, while you're here, you might see it. Um, so we have had we have had a recurring issue, um, or I want to say recurring. It happened the last time I played it. And then, again, um, the, uh, the lock shot on the trunk. Uh, it's making it to the trunk, and then it has to do a ball search to kick the ball out. But hopefully you can see that here. Maybe you can give us some pointers. But let's see. What's going on here? Trunk sands, bullet catch, straight jacket at the stage, and man from beyond is a movie mode. Just watching some of the scoring, it seems really imbalanced, especially considering how tight some of the shots are. Gorgeous game, though. So, like, my first complaint, when I, I complained, yeah, no, complaints are word. The first time I played it, I was like, man, these shots are real, real tight. But, um, you know, I don't, I don't think that's a bad thing. Um, you know, I mean, you're, if you're going to buy one of these machines for your home, or, or even put it on route, I mean, like, you don't want it to be super easy, and you don't want to get bored of it, because i got plenty of games at home that I'm thinking about trading off now, because it's just like, man, hit the ramp, hit the ramp, hit the ramp, hit the ramp, that kind of stuff. Have you played it yet, Eric? This? Yeah. No, not yet. Well, once you do, give us a review. I will. Yeah, Josh, uh, so I don't know if still's the word. I think they, like, fixed it or they did something, but I just played a game on it a couple minutes ago, and it was still doing it. So if Pete could make the lock shot, we could find out. Did you? Wait, where it kicked into the box? Did it Did it have to do a ball search when it kicked in the box? Oh, no, then maybe it just happened on my game. At some point, one of us is going to get a beat one of these modes, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. Pete, I owe you a dollar. I didn't forget. Well, Pete's got time. He's already knocked out. Yeah. <laughs> You're brutal, man. You're brutal. He's got all the time in the world. My first time here, he knocked me. He, he gave me my third strike. I can give him a few little sides. Wednesday enough on title fight. Of all, of all fights to knock somebody out, you know? Of all games. I, mean. I love that game. It's, it's super simple, but... Yeah. All right, so let's okay, see. Okay, my favorite game, Pride of Pinbot. That's the most simple game it is. That's true. That's true. Shuttle ramp, shuttle ramp, shuttle ramp. In case you forgot, shuttle ramp. Yep, yep. All right, all right. I might go get some more money. Yeah, dudes. If you have uh, if you have questions for Josh, things like that, feel free to ask, dude. Super responsive. Why am I saying, dude? Like he's not here in the chat room. You are super responsive, and that is very cool. So, let's see. Also, I apologize. I'm trying to figure out how to scroll and things on our brand new computer. Da -da 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 -da. Let's 
show. Hello, party people. Hey, man, what's up? Look, I'll move so Chris can sit. Still so Josh is still in chat. Awesome. We're talking about different stuff. So on, I had a game earlier where I had the ball get stuck in the in the lock, but then Pete just played and he said it didn't get stuck at all. I'm going to go get some money real quick. I'll be right back because I'm going to put some games up. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for hanging out, Josh. Really appreciate you being able to jump in here. I'm sure Matt's already said thank you, but much appreciated. And so if uh, any of the viewers have any questions, make sure, uh, make sure Josh should be able to answer them. <laughs> yeah, maybe we are just witnessing a lot of banging. That, that lock shot is, is that shot right there. That one is super tight, but I love the challenge of it because once you get it dialed in, you can hit it all the time. But the fact that it takes you a little while to get it all kind of settled and whatnot is amazing. Also, the fact that the, uh, the theater shot is like a shallow kind of hole and that like if you rocket it in there, it's not going to stay. It'll bounce right back out. But if you gently kind of tap it up and into that that uh, theater shot, it, it's a it's all awesome. up to play. All right, so Matt's going to play. And so I'm going to take his seat and hang out for a little bit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the only way to start a mode is through the theater, uh, except for seance. I know that if you hit the stand-up targets, you can start seance, but uh, Josh should be able to tell us easier than that. And we got Eric here hanging out. Okay, that finishes our round three. And it looks like Adam is in a mode now. So round four. I'm still Okay. So if you got knocked out already, Thank you, Josh. Get clear, both going, and then right to the alley. All right, so I'm going to be up again. I've got uh, to run to play this tournament. So Matt's going to be up to play. Sorry, I keep starting. Sure, sure. It's all good. Uh, sure. Cypro, Chris Thomas, Matt Zickowitz, Spider-Man, John Chappell. All right, this is going to be my first loss. I'll be right back, guys. Thank you guys for hanging out. Eric Franklin, Eric Ryan. Dude, you'll be enjoying watching me play. I'll try to talk. I'll be right back. Eric Gibson, Bruce Tony, Flight 2000, Matt Sinbad. I'm going to try back in this thing. Tony Gadowski, Michael Trimble, Aerosmith, Nathaniel Gibson, Rick Prince, Bounty Hunter, Joel Zingone, Nick Wall. Hot Tip, Sean McDonald, Mike Reimer, Kiss, Bally Kiss, Joe Stoltz, David Buckler, Title Fight, Jerry C. Krobach, Gary Jackson, Iron Man, Mike Radowski, Tom Pistazio, Buck Rogers, John Moran, Dave Sharp, Jacks to Open, Dave Schumeister, John Law, Disco Fever, Apparently, Chow, I complain about not being able to make the shot, and then I make the shot. Ryan Young, Adam Scheibel, Roller Coaster Tycoon, Jeffrey Shopshire, you have a lot.
Uh, he says, so Josh, the developer's on the chat, he says we can backhand that shot. All right, so I couldn't make that backhand shot to save my life. Hopefully Pete can do a little bit better. Um, actually, I couldn't play the game to save my life, but that was me doing poorly. Oh, look at all this stuff in the chat that I missed. Uh, oh, I'm going to cough. <coughs> so let's see. The trunk needs to go up and along the sand spot. Easy way to start them out. I read so slow. I'm sorry, guys. In fact, I'm just not going to read any more of this because I'm... Um, yeah. Um, we did have a question, Josh, uh, also from Pete here. Um, is there a match feature on this game? Uh, like, is it just turned off here, or is, is there just no match feature on? Sub Rocco R321. I'm so afraid to hit all these wires. I'm like, Meh. Pete, come on. We got, we got people watching here. <laughs> No, this is this is a predator. Oh. It looks so much like an Alienware model. I don't know anything I feel about like computers. They stole it from Alienware. I don't know. I I know I know nothing about computers <laughs> except I know that this thing runs like super nice. Yeah. <laughs> and it's got it's got Nemo or something like that. What? Something about having two antennas for like like wireless internet. He called it like Nemo or something oh, like that. I don't that. know anything about that. Me neither. Okay, Nick, he, he just, uh, uh, Pete, he just answered, no, not yet, but there will be a match feature. Okay, cool. All right, so uh, on at least this particular machine, this physical machine, uh, I have found so far pretty reliably that if you just full plunge, you know, wait with a full plunge, um, you'll hit the third target in the line of skill shot targets pretty reliably. Um, the other skill shot, isn't it the left kind of magic sling over there on the left-hand side? Which, by the way, super cool, dude. Um, yeah, Rocco, the, the lighting's fantastic. We were talking about that earlier. Look at the eyeballs right now. Look at the eyeballs. It's fantastic. But um, there's the two kind of um, bumpers on the top right above the slingshots on the left and right. And when you hit them, there's little magnets underneath. Um, Similar, I believe, to Ghostbusters LE at the slingshots, but I've never played Ghostbusters LE. No, Josh, but that's the only thing I can reliably do. All right, Pete's going to do something. I'm going to play again. Wish me luck, dudes. Ladies and dudes. total deposited that shows up on the back list. Is that part of a tournament setting? Is this weird that I'm leaning over the camera? Can you, can you see my, is my beard in the, oh my god it is. Oh, man, brutal. Uh, yeah, I 
traffic. I was important. The good thing about today is I had to work the morning shift and I got off early. All right. Knowing that they recently got in both of these last week, I was like, that's more incentive yeah. to come out and play. Absolutely. Because I got to play this last year at the Allentown show. Yep. And then TNA, I got to play game for the side of the year. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. Let's see so, what we got. What I'm doing now is ah. the third one, right when it hits the third letter, usually hits it. All right, sorry, we usually can't do that. Oh, we can have it back. We'll screen real quick. Yes, I agree, Goofy. Let's try that again. <laughs> oh, very cool, Josh. So he said it's running some test code. Oh. Sorry, I'm coming in and, and hovering and looking at the chat. I'm just interested in what's going on. Tell me what, there's no point in me standing up there waiting for my turn because he's killing it. Okay, look at that. The right inner loop there. Yep. I'll get it on the first shot. All right. Oh, I see, this is the kind of stuff I like. I like the animation there on the back, you know, on the, on the screen. Okay. Hey, it got stuck. It's going to do a ball search. Just give it a minute. You're losing out on your hurry up, but. It'll go. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. I would love to shoot the left one. Just give me my pinball back. It'll, it should come out of the right, uh, the right scoop there in a second. Ah, there we go. Oh, no, there it goes. Came out of the ramp. So it's a moving target, Joe, so you might... I don't know how much time you have left. There you go. Damn, dude. You're killing it. You see this? Ah, there we go. Well, it's back to single ball play, but... Yeah, right now, you mean for the tournament? It's 184,000. He's on the ball. Yeah, it's, it's a little, I like low scoring games, though. Like, I like games that have... Like, I mean, there's something nice I'll about playing games where it's like, you have 450 billion points. <laughs> but at some point, it's like, all right, you're just cramming yeah, more numbers on the screen. Okay. This is all arbitrary, you know? <laughs> all right, Joe, you know what you're doing here? All right. So Joe is in Seance Multiball, Seance being those stand-up targets that are flashing teal. Is that the right color description, teal? Ocean spray blue, I don't know. But if he if he hits all those, he picks up a, uh, a jackpot shot. Um, if he hit hit them in, if he hit them in order, he gets a super jackpot. I think that's how it works. Let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, he wants to now open the stage, start a move, then start multi ball at the right scoop. Ah. So one more letter, boom, shoot, seance jackpot. And, and wow, 
Yeah. Joe, you're killing it, dude. And on the backlash, you can see actual footage of uh, me moving into my first home. Hello, friends. Dude, oh, he's killing me. Robbie oh, Orzino, a million points on ball one? No, 100,000. Oh, no. Uh, for some reason, I thought that said a million. No. Are you about to sit? No, I'm good. I'm good. I just lost my first game. Oh, but that's the first. You still have two more to lose. Yeah. I mean, you have a bunch more to win. Well, that's right. what I meant. There you go. That's what I, I meant. appreciate that. Matt Dewitkowitz on Spider-Man was able to take the win with two terrible scores, honestly. But that, uh, his Spider-Man okay, is playing right. Give me one more. One more up there. Nice control, dude. You got a warning, though. That's only one. That's the magnets I'm talking about. Those are fantastic. Yeah, the magic shots on the left and right. Yeah. They're fantastic. Oh, now you go up there after the mode time's out. Okay. Guess what? Just So Josh is saying in multi-ball, you have to cradle ball, which you can play with one. You can't really do it the first time through. Odds are balls going. Okay. Very cool. Jesus. <laughs> I'm player one on this. I have like 8,000 points. <laughs> and I paid for his game, and I'm like, man, I gotta regret paying for his right. game. That's awesome. <laughs> like, I paid for him to smoke me. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're clicking on things. I can't see. I was like, I saw, like, I thought this was an alienware at first. Like, <coughs> I was like, what do they steal their model off their alienware? Like, so the magic stand up okay, helps you during mode. Here we go. I'm oh, sorry, I didn't realize you were right next to my head. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just creeping. For each mode hitting, that will advance you one oh. step through the mode. Wow, really? One time, good one time That's for mode. Good oh, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. That's you guys cool. finish it till we're on the back row. You're kidding me on ball one. You're already in the first place on the the. Ah, the Steve. All right. That's a good ball, dude. That's fantastic. Yeah, what do I have? 8,000 points? 6,000 points? Okay, we're going to close that round out. That was round four. We're going to start round All five. All right, round five on the competition. And we got Matt so Abonadini. Matt Zikowitz, Bob Choke, Blue Chip, Ooh, Steve Lieberman, Corey Hulse, Bad Girls, Rick Prince, Mikey Trimble, Whirlwind, Craig Franklin, Joe Osterling, Spider Man. Home edition. That's all the way in the back. Right, well, right, right, right side. Nick Wall, Chris Thomas, Paragon, oh. Chris Tony, Jerry. I gotta go Perlock, play Paragon, guys. Steve Enjoy Rose Matt. Ali, Adam Scheibel, John Schapel, Disco Fever, Jeffrey Shapsara, Ben Gibson, Spider Man, on room. Jay C. Krokop gets the wrong title fight. Miles Graves, Joe Schultz, El Dorado, Tony Kowski, Chris Chow, Kiss, Valley Kiss, David Schumeister, Mike Rudowski, Chris Panther, Mike Reimer, John Moran, Mike 2000, Eric Bryan, Joel Z. Cohen, Jeannie, Nathaniel, Just a reminder, we have the Constellation Games if you're knocked out of the tournament. We have Rubini, Rubini and this, our Roller Disco in the back room. We also have plenty of uh, extra pizza left. If you want a pizza, come up here. It's uh, $2 a slice with plain cheese. 
250 for either pepperoni or sausage. All right, so we're going to wait on Joe to come back. I hope it doesn't auto plunge a ball. What did I miss? Joe can't go to Spider Man. Later, no to flying toy. Not a flying toy. No to not a flying toy. Have a good evening. Ah. Dude, there's so much going on in this game. Joe's still up on this, so don't. Yeah, he's got a ball one. Joe is currently playing Spider-Man Home Edition in tournament play. So once he's done over there, he'll be back over to pick up his ball too. Thankfully, no auto plunge for him. Kind of wish there was for me. But we'll see. Oh, hey, God, Bill, I didn't even know if you were right. Everybody, this is Bill, proprietor, Hello. owner of the Pinball Gallery. Um, he is nice enough to run these events uh, first Tuesday of every month and then in addition to that we have regular league nights every Thursday as well as other events and you can come plan parties and stuff like that here. Billy, want to say anything? Hello. <laughs> I don't have much to say. Uh, and Josh is here. We've been talking oh, about the game. Cool. Somebody's Hello, got Josh. a game on there but they got called back to, lead, to, okay. to the tournament and he's crushing it. So. Oh, okay. So you're in the middle. Yeah, so you've been in the middle Joe, of the game. Yeah, Joe O got called back to the tournament, but he's on bowl one. He's got like 198,000. Not too shabby so far. So oh, many, that's Josh, J. Cug. J. Cug, all right. How many people do you have tonight? I have no idea, and I don't know how to check because I don't know how to use computers. <laughs> that's not true. I do. I just don't know how to use this. Well, I know you have a new rig here, so you're trying to figure out how to use it. Yeah, Chris knows how to do... Oh, nine, right there. We got 11. We just jumped. Look at that. So we got 11 people currently watching. Hello, all 11 of you. Thank you for joining us. But, uh, yeah, so, so far, I don't know. Have you played a lot of it yet? Have you put some time on it? I, a little bit. Not a lot. I haven't had too much of a chance to play it, but um, I really like it. It's a beautiful game. Lots of shots. Um, just everybody that played it so far has enjoyed yep. it. So. Quality toys, quality, like, like all the, Oh, yeah. Yeah. Real I, nice. I like the milk can. I talked about this in the last stream. I, I, don't, I don't, but this is not the last stream. So, like, there's a lot of games, you know, like Metallica and things like that, you'll see. They have, like, spotlights that sit on the slings. And, like, the spotlights that sit on the slings here are, like, molded to look like actual, like, movie yeah, spotlights. They look like movie That's spots. amazing. Yeah. That's a, that, that blew my mind. And, I they're, didn't, and they're actually not sitting on the slings? Yeah, they're, like, behind, behind them the on slings, the rail, yeah. It's probably a good idea because I know a lot of times when they put spots on slings, they eventually vibrate the bulbs out of the sockets and they fall on the play field. Yeah. And operating a game, that becomes a problem because it's usually a stuck ball. Yeah. So. I mean, do they have lens covers on them and everything? Yeah, they look like real, almost like real spotlights. Yeah, yeah they they're little super Little plastic cool. lens covers on them. Yeah, yep. they're nice. Very cool. What did you say? Oh, she said disqualify Joe -O from the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> That's tempting. <laughs> He, yeah, he's killing it. He's like, I wasn't going to come out tonight, but I heard they had a Houdini and a TNA, and I figured, why not? And he comes out, I'm like, look, I'll buy you a game. I bought him a game, and now he's destroying me. Wow. Somebody's got a game on there. Oh, they got called back to league, but he's killing it, so. You know, you need credits on all of this. What was that? 
A roller disco needs credits. Oh, I gotta go. Uh, well, thank you, Bill. Yep. Bill, the, the 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 work of a pinball arcade owner is never done. He's gotta go put credits on roller disco. Also a quality game. Jeezy, I'll ask him when he comes back by. Oh, the designer thinks a lot about opera. That's good, because like, as much as, like, like, I know, I know, like, you know, newer pins are, uh, you know, a lot of them, people are buying for home use. People are buying these games for home use. But, like, I want to see more pins out in operation, and I want to see more new pins out in operation, because um, that's how you're really going to get new people in. Bill, we have a question from the crowd for you. All right. Do you know what's gotten more plays so far, Houdini or TNA? Um... Well, when I checked, the last time I checked was, I think, Saturday, and only after a couple of days of play. But it was almost the same. Oh. Almost the same. Both of them got a lot of plays. They're completely different games, but each good in their own way. Um, TNA is a little loud. It's a shame we haven't placed the way they are because the TNA There's kinda, a game going on in there right now. drowns out the sound. He had to go, yeah, he got called TNA. away and he's like killing it, so. Oh, someone's taking a break. No, he, he had to go play League when he was in the middle of his oh, game. Okay. All right. that's, that's cool. But they're both getting about an equal number of plays. TNA is only 50 cents here. So it attracts, a, I think, some more people to play it just because it's cheaper to play. It's so fast. Game times are about it's, half the time. It's so, so fast. But, um, <laughs> you both. get to play twice as many games at half the price. But I love it still. Like I love both of them. Yes. Like I said, both good games, just in different ways. So. Very cool. Joe, I need you to come back, though. He's still busy. But, I don't know. Have you had, uh, so, uh, Josh, have you had any problems? Like, I mean, I know we talked about Bill's, and we, but there was a mechanical issue with the, uh, the, the chest. But just, have you had anything come back yet that's like, hey, guys, this is, uh, you know, this is, this is something to watch out for, that kind of stuff. Oh, jeez, he has code and DNA also. <laughs> well, we're gonna start. We're gonna start hitting you for that next week. <laughs> no, actually, I think we're streaming from that tomorrow. I think. So, jo Josh, you didn't get a credit on the DNA uh, screen for putting code in there. I know you gave a lot of credits on the uh, on Houdini for different people. Just let me bits. go. Let me go grab <laughs> Joe real quick. Oh, I feel bad making him wait. Yeah. yeah. I gotta go as well. Oh. I'll be back a little bit. And I'll be right back as well. All right, he's on ball three, so he'll be here shortly. But uh, while we're here, uh, what's up, dudes? Uh, what, what, what are you thinking about? What's what you what you what you what you thinking about that out there in internet land? No, no, actually, yeah. Let's see. So, real Jeezy, you do have to get up here soon because this is fantastic. Um, we're currently sitting at what? I was trying to seduce the crowd. I was going like this. Mm. Is, will this work? Hi. <laughs> Is that hot? Okay, no, 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 no. We're talking about real stuff. We're talking about real stuff. That's awesome, though, Josh. Um. Oh wait, Joe. Joe's coming. That is even cooler. Joe, you got a line waiting. So we've got a. Uh, I just played Paragon. Oh, you put up a uh, personal high score on Paragon in one. 
What's your personal high score? 600,000 points. All right, all right. You know, Nathaniel rolled that just the other day. I know. I tried playing it the other day, too. I couldn't do anything. No. Is Harry here? We got his stuff. Harry is here. And uh, he's going to stop by. Okay, good. No, absolutely not. So Joe is on his way. He's running. He's just about here. You're lucky there's not an auto plunge. <laughs> You're good, man. You're good. Okay, now let's, now let's double our score. Now we're playing with power. Yes, we are. Cooking with games. I've been a fan since 10 years old. Did a custom game a few years ago. So let me this job. What was your custom game, Josh? Like what? Uh, what was the? Oh wait, did you want to be on the camera? I'm good. I'm sitting here hogging it. I'm like, okay, now that you're on the camera. So what was your, what was your custom game, Josh? Oh, it's the flying Oh, that's it. I would I would absolutely have to agree with your brother because this thing is way the hell better than nails and rubber bands. But that, is that how you got started? Was with uh, a machine like that? Thank you. Well, that's awesome. Casino. Hi, Corey. Hello. We've got Corey here with us. Hello, everyone. So we've got Jake, uh, Josh Kugler here. He's actually one of the designers of Houdini. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, so he's hanging out with us, answering all of our questions, if you have any about Houdini. Well, Josh, what do you think of the play thus far today? How are people doing on the game? And actually, as a follow-up, what's your personal high score on this? Oh, wow, that that looked like you barely made it in. Of actual play, not just pulling the glass and pushing the switches. So it looks like it's going to do that ball search thing, so that's always exciting. And over three million, that's awesome, man. That's very awesome. This is what we were talking about, Josh. The mini magician modes, is that something that we don't have access to? That's good to know. All right, Matt crushing that milkman shot, or milk can shot. He was having some problems with that in the lock shot. Oh, there it is, the lock straight up and into the lock shot. Oh, this machine has the test code, so it does have it. So how do we access that, one might ask. Oh! Oh, 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 really? I wasn't looking, I was looking at the other ball. Oh, man. Yeah. Ah. There. So Chris, what are your impressions of the game thus far? So this game is is gorgeous. Like the it's the subtle features for me that that I really like. Um, like the the little things, like the this curtain that comes down and covers the uh, the API theater. Which I don't know if API is like a is that a Houdini thing or if it's like APIs in you know the the computer term API, but. I like the little the, the curtain that comes around the, the theater, the chains between the pop bumpers, mm -hmm. um, and then the the varying difficulty of shots. You know, you've got some easy shots, you've got some uh, some pretty tight shots like that lock shot, the key shot, uh, or the key lane, I should say. But otherwise, uh, I I think it's gorgeous. You know, when it goes through like the seance mode and you see the light show. I just love all of these color LEDs on the yep. machines. It just brings so much character to the machine. Especially when they're programmed to utilize them, and it's not like an old EM that you put LEDs in, which is still awesome. Which is but, still cool, but yeah, this the, one. The, the use of color to convey and mean something, which these newer games have the opportunity to do. Nice. Also, I just I talked about this the other day, but the clarity off of that new 4K camera, I just I can't get over it. Oh, 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 left lane oh, drain. Drain. When you so shoot that loop on the lower left, you need to then shoot the ramp to increase the playfield multiplier. I was doing so okay. Oh, that makes sense. API American Pinball Inc. Gotcha. 
Well, that's super exciting. Okay. What's interesting, the couple shots I've seen just seem very it's smooth, tough. like going up that right side ramp, just the way it loops around. It it's, like, it's like it's like butter. Yeah, and, yeah, and, and the fact that if you kind of get it up there, but not too hard, yeah. there's, it has the ability to drop out of that ramp straight into drop down. Yeah, drop straight into those uh, the pop bumpers, which. The chains between the pump bumpers are just awesome. I had an opportunity to take some pictures when uh, when we pulled the glass off last yeah. weekend, and I got some really cool angles. The, the, from the play field view of that theater and across those pop bumpers, it's just gorgeous. Yeah. I put them up on Instagram, and uh, I can't get enough of it. And those creepy eyes on Houdini <laughs> himself, like that, that just... It's the little things that I like. Yeah. The little it's bit of... The little things I like, like creepy eyeballs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the little bit of hesitation. Oh. Um, oh. When it when it hits those magic shots all over his hands, the, it makes a little Spell magnetic circular out. motion. Yeah. Yeah. It's fantastic. Oh, yeah. And the... the, the what? Oh, all right. You can wow. only use 30, you can only get the flip of like 30 times or less. So this is certainly interesting. You've got a oh, chance at redemption. It's not just a simple kickback. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't do it anyway. Oh, that's very cool. It tells you the number of flips that you have left. That's awesome. The seance target's We're relatively this simple. Game. I want to file a complaint. <laughs> well, we happen to have him on the line, know, sir. <laughs> Right, if you can submit a ticket, we'll be in touch between 7 and 14 business days. Nice. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm actually going to be right back. <laughs> what a waste. He's making fun of you. I like you, Josh. I like you. But, uh, alright, so we got Joe up again. See what he's able to do. That was a good save. Don't worry. Good slap save in there. Almost up into that theater. There it is. Right up in the middle there. We got Hand Cupcake. Oh yeah, what were those? Oh, that's very cool. The video mode is super difficult. I haven't quite, I, I got a couple of the, and, and I don't know, is there more than is one video from mode the uh, from the, the card toss? Is that the only video mode? Because that's the only one I've gotten into myself. And uh, that one, it, it's pretty difficult, but it's definitely doable and definitely fun. Oh yeah, Waz, I, I kind of love the Waz in the uh, fall save. But, well, I'm going to have to uh, to run off to play another game, so Matt will be back here shortly. I think he ran outside for a cigarette quick. But that's cool. Yeah, that, that one video mode, it actually kind of came out of nowhere. And I love the you just tossing the, the cards. It's awesome. Sinbad, Corey Hulse, Matt Zickowitz, Funhouse, Joe Osterling, Chris Thomas, Alien Poker. I'm up on Alien Poker, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to go have to go play that, but uh, Matt should be back here shortly. Please continue to hang out. I really appreciate it. Yeah, and that's what I was finding, actually, is is it's very, very, not sensitive, I don't want to say, but particular on when you push and release those buttons. And I started to figure it out, but it's one of those things that you got to continue to get into that uh, mode to be able to, to test it. So um, I will be back here shortly, guys. Hang out, and we've got... Uh, Tom and Matt and uh, Tony are going to be playing on uh, Houdini, so we won't be commentating, but they'll be hanging out. And also, Stashio, they are on Twitch as well, the Stash Kid on Twitch. Make sure you're following them. I'll be right back. Thank you, guys.
Hey dude, sorry about the delay. We're back. We are streaming, in case you're just joining us, although I doubt that you are. In case you're just joining us, we are streaming Houdini live from the Pinball Gallery. This is the high score side tournament. So um, they're having their regular monthly tournament here, uh, first Tuesday of every month. And then in addition to that, they also run a side tournament that everyone can participate in. So let's see what happens. Oh wait, let's see. Yeah, Joe O had a killer game. Key is timing when you start and end your press. You have the right height and timing. Oh, is that for the video mode? Uh, you know, I'm glad I'm glad you put a video mode in. We've been talking about video modes a lot lately. Um, and how, you know, we're in the age of color, you know, color screens and stuff like that. And, you know, um, not a ton of interesting video modes. Um, I do think the video mode is super interesting here. Uh, is it just the one? Just the um, the one with the, the throw in the cards? I've never gotten it either. <laughs> to, be, to be fair, I've never gotten the video mode. And makes the lock shot to the milk can. Yeah, it's really like it's begging for video modes. I'm excited to see what starts happening with like video modes in the future, different types of, uh, you know, different types of stuff. I like the video mode on here. I actually like the video mode on um, Stern Star Wars as well. I mean, it's it's more or less a rehash of, you know, your, your traditional kind of like uh, car game video modes where it's like dodge, dodge the whatever, but it's still fun. Um, I do like this. Is it so... When you say the timing, when you start and end your press, look at that scene right off the post. Um, is it kind of like um, I don't know older video games where it's like you know you press the button, you hold it, you hold it in, and it, it counts as you know more pressure, pressing it longer, that kind of thing. I got it. Really, I got just got to get the video mode and figure it out. So going for that red lit lane and uh, made it, but didn't make it. Okay, cool. I know it's becoming standard, but color change LEDs, fantastic. Yeah, dude, he put up one one ninety one on ball one, or one ninety eight or something like that. <laughs> I got faith in you. You will. What do you mean each part? Like, um, like modes use different colors or different? Um... Oh, and he just lit. Oh, I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. That's cool. Combo missions, my, my personal favorite because it's the only one I've been able to get any points on. No, that's not true. I got a jackpot through uh, say, Seance. Theater is flashing. And I gotta say, so far, so far, none of my, and this is this is all player skill and stuff like that, but none of my drains have been like, I don't know, none of my drains have been brutal. It's never been like, it's never been like I drained the ball and I'm like, 
oh, this game sucks. Like, ah, oh, you know. Um, anytime I drain the ball, I'm like, oh, that's because I was playing poorly. Um, I do like the placement of the magnets up by those magic shots because um, they're not your, your risk of, of just draining off the magnet seems to be kind of minimized with them placed up and away from the flippers like that. That's pretty nice. I was explaining that the different colors um, as they light up on the screen represent different or on the play field represent different modes. So like like okay. when the when, like when the whole board washes out one color, it's representing like a different mode. Yeah, very Interesting, cool. Interesting. Very yeah. cool. Yeah, I know the colors aren't aren't too obvious, but we're trying our best with this new 4K camera. <laughs> I'm gonna keep plugging that thing. It's fantastic. <laughs> we got a new camera. We want you to know about it. There we go. So yeah, oh yeah, see how they all went red? Nice, okay. That's super cool. Also, I can't tell you how much this, like, the, the video screen on this one, like, grosses me out. Why? Like, because he's got, like, needles on string, oh, like, oh, pulling them oh. out of his mouth. And I'm just like, oh, nope, nope, nope. You didn't clip that, did you? Don't, don't clip that. <laughs> <laughs> don't cl Please clip don't, that. Don't clip that. Please clip that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's super good to know, actually. Yeah, so yeah, see how everything... Yeah, that's cool. Jerry, uh... Jerry, yeah. Did you win or lose one today? So I just lost on Alien Poker. Oh, that's two losses? Yeah. I've got one more strike left, and, uh... Then he's out. And I'm out. You know what your problem was? I wasn't flapping my flappers. Yeah, you didn't play better. I know. <laughs> I gotta flap hit the lip shots and not drain. That's my problem. Flap your flappers. Oh! How many points did you pick up there? Probably quite a bit. I appreciate the like bonus calculation. Or it's like, this is where your bonus comes from. This, 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 and this. He's at uh, 131,000. Alright. Oh, they're just going to the ball three. Things I appreciate. It says magic shop and not magic shoppy. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can go to the coffee shoppy, S-H-O-P-P-E. -P. Alright, I'm going to uh, depart with you for a minute. I'm going to go smoke a cigarette. Chill out, dude. Center your chi. I do. I need to go balance my chakras and touch my energy crystal. I mean, it's a pinball place. There's not a lot of feng shui going I on know. here. I mean, it's, it's, I it's better than your house, though. <laughs> with the feng shui. Come on, I made a joke about it. I'm not trying to insult you. I know. Him. I'm just messing with you. He's such a... I got so much feng shui in my house. It's fantastic. Yeah. That's a type of mold, right? <laughs> that's, a, that's a type of mold. They're feng shui. I got it in my floorboards. Under the drop ceiling. Okay, we're just waiting for one match to finish. Shadow's family. I'm going to be honest, guys. I have no idea what the standings are in the current tournament. Mostly because I'm not playing and I don't have a concern. That sales lady is fantastic. I wish there were more. I wish there were more things linked to the spinners because I hit the spinners nonstop. <laughs> Here's that needles thing. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I see the. Uh, so all switches score 100 points, so having that in multi-ball, that would be a good, that's why that would be a good stack. And then when he had it, didn't he have two times scoring or something like that? So straight jacket, seance, and trunk. So you can stack seance and trunk multi-balls at the same time? That's super cool. I like that milk can shot too, how it returns to the left flipper. It just feels good. Nice ramp shot. Where 
Where is the extra ball lit? Oh, thank you. He knew. <laughs> well, apparently there's a new animation added to it. We need you to clinch it for us. No pressure. No pressure. Oh, okay, right, Scoopy said. Start the next round. That was round six. We're going to start around seven. Again, anybody that's been knocked out, we have two cancellation games. Escapes to the water wheel. This See, back. this is the mode that I need to play. Because I can hit those outside shots. Three slices of sausage. Oh, they got pizza. Okay, round seven. Rich I should Prince, get pizza. Bob Cho, Fireball Classic. Joe Osterling, Matt Sikowitz, Black Elf. John Shapel, Bruce Tony, Rock on Four, Stephen Haberman, Nick Wall. All right, so Josh, on that uh, on that screen there, on that video, whose hand is that? Whose hand did you get to be the model for that uh, hat animation? Bad Girls, Troy Hulse, Big Ball Deluxe, and that's it. Good luck. Because I never thought about that until just now. I'm like, you know what would be super cool? If I got just like my hand in an animation on a pinball machine. <laughs> you were so close! So I gotta go play Gottlieb's Hot Garbage. I mean, Bad Girls. Gottlieb's Hot Garbage. Make, make sure you wash your hands after you play that game. It's filthy. All right, wait. So is it the milk can that advanced? What advances film? Was it the milk can? Oh, just the lanes, and then what does film do? I know not, I, I've only played this a handful of times, and uh, just trying to figure it out as I go. But any help is appreciated. Milkman, oh, okay, Milkman needs to be followed by ramp. Save. Also worth mentioning, I like, oh wow, look how that key target is lit all the way up there. That's cool. I think it's worth mentioning. I appreciate, um, oh, great to light them. You have two balls locked so you can lock the third and start moving at the same time. Okay, cool. How the lower playfield's fairly open, but um, the upper playfield's really busy. And then, uh, you know, the art as it goes, you know, it's kind of blue and purpley down at the bottom, but more red and orange up at the top. Where it's busier, I think that's a nice touch. Look at that bounce. I'm gonna do is get back up and play it. <laughs> All right. I thought that was going right up there. Also, I noticed when you hit the, um, oh, you call it, it's called the loop, right? The outside shot, the, the big wide outside shot. Like when it comes back to the flipper, instead of. Did I tell you of, that that game's hot garbage? Sorry to interrupt. Did you win or lose? I lost. Ah, uh, you're out. I am out. 
Well, Chris is out, so he's going to be joining us for the rest of the stream. Anyway, when you hit that outside loop, um, when the ball feet, watch right here. Like, um, it doesn't quite come feet back to the flipper in, like, you know, closer to the base of the flipper. It really comes back towards the edge of the flipper. Is, was that intentional? Or do you know if it was intentional? Because it's kind of cool. It makes it, it, it just speeds it up just ever so slightly. It, it, you lose that confidence that you would get in, say, you know, an attack from Mars or something like that, where it comes around that that loop and you can just kind of, you know, catch the ball like nothing. In this case, when it goes around the loop, it kind of, I mean, you've played it, like it kind of feeds closer to the edge of the, the tip of the oh, flipper. Yeah. I think that's kind of cool. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I love the animation on this thing. Hey, you want me to move? Yeah, a little bit. I can move Since a little I'm bit. I'm here now. I can move a little bit. All right. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's put a camera there. <laughs> no, it's designed to feed it so you can do multiple orbits, which I've definitely gotten in this game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've definitely gotten the multiple orbits thing like that. And it feels good. That oh, yeah. feels like stupid good. Like where you're like, bah, 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 you know? Absolutely. Ah. Well, he's getting the new high score. Don't want to jinx me. Yeah, dude. So the multiple loops can help your bonus. That's good to know. I'm going to have to go play this. Is there a line? Yeah, I think the dang's waiting. All right. No problem, let's play with Maybe. You can practice split flip with it. Ah. Bonus is total loops times the number of consecutive loops. Oh. Oh, that's super cool. So really, it's in your best interest of, yeah, if you can loop, yeah, that's cool. Oh. I just got to say, I'm really uh, thankful for you coming on to the, the stream, Josh, and answering all our questions and hanging out. It's super cool of you. Um, that's so like the power plus uh, Twilight Zone. So the Twilight okay. Zone pinball machine has... Um, that's good to know. So no, Twilight sold it. Zone and Adam's Family and a couple other games have a magnet under the play field and they call it the power. Um, so like, yeah, if you go over and look at Adam's Family in the center of the play field, it says the power. And when you get into multiple, it turns a magnet on. So whenever the ball rolls around it, it like whips like, wick, the ball all over the place. Okay. And like, it's super frustrating. When you well, there, the there was a perfect thing. example of that multiple zone, loops. It's a similar thing, but it's this little extra play field. Um, and there's one of those pyramids with the eyeball, and it's it's called the power, and you have to fight it. And instead of having flippers, there's two little magnets, and you hit the flipper buttons, and it fires the magnets, and you go on those instead of flippers, uh, no, just and that you down. fight Same. the power yeah. up yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Like, Thanks for hanging out, man. Yeah. Yeah. Have a good one, dude. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Plus, I figure, like, like, what is it? Um, if people who are into pinball see you wearing that shirt, they're going to know what the shirt is, and if they're not into pinball, they're going to think you're afraid of the Illuminati. That was my goal. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That's absolutely. What I inquired about yeah, it, yeah. I'm like, what does that have to do with pinball? And yeah. Everything? No, if you look if you look up Twilight Zone Pinball, you'll see a picture of the pyramid on there. All right. Adam's family doesn't have the pyramid, it just says the power. So Tony is crushing it. If you get four or five, they become worth a lot of points, but then it resets back. Okay. So four or five loops. Oh man. Nicely done, Tony. Hey, you know how no, you know how you know when somebody's good when they say thanks all casual like that. <laughs> Nicely done. Thanks, whatever. <laughs> hey, you're the needles, oh, needles champ. champ. Look nice. at that! Wow, look at that Ouija board. That's yeah, awesome. That is that is awesome, by the way. Wow, that's super cool. Ten letters max. Finn, I love that. Are you going in, Nathaniel? Yep. All right. We're going to sail Nathaniel does. Well, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, yeah, little ready to score. Four, five, seven, zero, two, five. Shredded the current. 
<laughs> it's an awesome feature, man. That it, it's great. Yeah, it was a fantastic game too. So. Do you want to jump in with them? No, no, I'll just, uh, I'll just hang out here. <coughs> you guys coming Thursday? Yeah, yeah, we'll be here. Oh, no, I'll be here Thursday. He's not. He's going to be at my house going to the parade. <laughs> I'm going to be here coming to work and then coming here after work. Yeah, yeah I'll be here. Coming here? Okay, cool. All right, see you, man. Yeah, I don't, I'm trying to think if any machines did do it, <coughs> but I mean, the only machines I've played really with any kind of high score entry is like uh, the Jersey Jacks with the big LCDs of behind them. No, but still, you just enter your regular initials. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's just it's not like that. No, it's not like a Ouija board with with you know. It's no, just that's your standard. super cool. Yeah, absolutely. I think the coolest thing I've seen is like Jersey Jacks uh, dialed in where it takes like a picture of you. Yeah, that's cool. Which is cool, but I mean, it's it's there's nothing special about it. Although we've heard from people recently, look at nice that bounce. Nice Lazarus. Um, we've heard from people left. Um, that they don't Sterling like having their picture taken. With no losses. Hmm. Just saying. Interesting. Last week there was that lady talking oh, about yeah, how she right, doesn't like right. to be on camera and they yeah. don't like her pictures taken. So it's like, yeah, um, it's cool, Jersey, but what if you don't want to get your picture John taken? You don't know what's going to happen. Loss, so. yeah, although, I, I think my favorite part although about... Although I like it because okay, I make faces. Well, match. I like when I'm wearing uh, a Rage Chappell, to Pinball Society shirt, and the camera thinks that the skull is the face because it does face recognition. Eight ball the Rick Franklin, Rick Prince, All right, so. Getaway, Corey Holtz, As always, excellent. Ah, I just cursed you today. I was about to go, as always, excellent flipper control from the thing. I was like, as always, bop, and then like, drain. So we got Tony coming back up here. Let's see what he can do. Apparently, I believe he's the also yep. Josh. I think one of my other favorite things is how much sass Houdini gives you when you drain the ball. <laughs> uh, I don't know whose idea that was, but it is fantastic. I want more machines where, where to like, yell it's at me. It's called the skill show yeah, or whatever. Yeah, like, yeah, where yeah, he, yeah. he kind of like makes funny when Clearly you, you have no skill or something yeah. like that. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's amazing. Was Houdini a cocky guy? In real? I would imagine you have to be. I mean, to be a magician in you know 19. 20s, I don't know when that. was it. We, it was earlier than that, I think, like 1910. But, I uh, might go home and look up, like, see if there's videos on Houdini. Oh, like real Houdini. You know what I mean? Like, we're making a video <laughs> on Houdini. That's fantastic. They are awesome, I have to say. <laughs> it's all right. We insult each other all the time. Right. It's easier than actually being funny. <laughs> right, Shorty? That's right. I thought you were gonna throw one back at me. Oh. That's oh. A cheap shot. oh. What, what, what am I gonna call you, beardy, fat guy? Fat like, guy works. Like, no, it's cheap shots. Oh, that's all right. I don't mind cheap shots. The cell phone was from, what it dialed in. I'm gonna go back. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. <laughs> that's, that's pretty funny, Josh. Actually, not <laughs> <laughs> pretty funny people at work. Not the funniest, and I'm not that funny. Where are you going, man? Because I skipped my, my earlier one, I only skipped like half my time. Well, when I go back. Alright. So we got Seance and almost the E. Every time I sit in Matt's chair, man, I'm just a little guy all of a sudden. Uh, this is the first time that I, uh, I played this. This was one of my favorite modes. The reversed and inverted flippers is a fantastic idea for extreme, like for it being hard. That's awesome. Drain, drain. Nicely done, though, Nathaniel. That's so hard to do. Still inverted flippers. That is awesome. Are you going to be at uh, any good pinball shows this year, Josh? Yeah, he's out of the mode now. 
I don't believe he was initially. Yeah, I think it's yeah, I think it's easier that way, Brian, because y- your your brain is wired left and right, and when you're hitting them, it it makes sense at least to me to to cross your arms. And I think a lot of people do that, but who knows? That's awesome. We actually that's one of the ones that we will not be at. We won't be at Texas Pinball Festival, but I would like to. Oh, awesome! We will be in Allentown this year, actually. Yeah, definitely. That's what I was saying, is that when you cross your arms, it just makes it work. But uh, yeah, I actually saw this at Allentown last year, but the line on it was ridiculous and I didn't get to play it. Um, actually, but when it got delivered here was the first time I got to play it last week. And uh, we did the stream from it, and I really enjoyed it, man. This game is fantastic. Yeah, Allentown's pretty fun, and it should be even bigger this year if you guys end up coming out here. Yeah, I believe... At this point, it might be a Stern Circuit event, too, for the competition, which is super exciting. Yeah, and that's why I just, I couldn't play it. I I couldn't wait in that line. Nice save there from Tony. (laughs) Yeah, of course. That's the best part of Allentown, is that uh, the farmer's market across the, the parking lot. So Tony is done. Pretty decent. Oh, you know what? I see it there. Zero times zero in a row on the, the ramps and loops. Okay. Hard to pay attention to that screen while you're actually playing, but that, that's awesome. Just going to thin loop again. There it is up that ramp. Sounds multi ball is ready as well. Cradle that ball up. Where's he going with it? There it is, straight into Seance. So I haven't seen anybody get the super jackpot. Is there any like special animations or, I mean, it's cool if you don't feel like telling us, <laughs> you want us to figure it out, but um, I haven't seen anybody complete Seance in order and it looks like Nathaniel's not gonna get it done either. I'm not, I'm not sure you could really even do it because of the madness. Like you have to get really lucky. cool though. I just wasn't sure if there's like an easter egg or something like that. Are there any easter eggs in this game? I guess you don't want to tell us because you got to figure that out but super exciting though. Yeah, somebody beat my score. Oh and a drain on the multi-ball there. Got a jackpot. <laughs> That's right, Houdini with TNA music. TNA is right next to it and it is ridiculously loud. Uh, so, you're going to hear a little bit of TNA. There's so many games in here that uh, it gets a little loud. Yeah, that issue with the subway. Uh, hold on. 
You locked a ball in the, the subway, it's still waiting to do a ball search. Really? Yep. So give it a second, it's gonna do a ball search, you'll hear it kind of clunk, and it'll come out that right scoop. There you go. And it didn't. Well, that was interesting. I thought usually when it gets stuck, it uh, it wasn't stuck being shot. Interesting. is awesome. I don't know that I've seen this one before. There's that combo you were talking about. Being able to just tap it up those uh, outside orbits. Can you get it up the ramp? Good save. There it is. Oh yeah. Good score though. What's uh what's he got now? So I can't tell the score. I'm gonna grab a bottle of water real fast. You want one? Yeah, if you don't mind. You mean on the underside of the play field? I can tell Bill to do that if you'd like. And and Pit Haven, you know, you can make it up there, but uh, it, it, these the shots are just tight. You, it needs to be a direct hit, from what I can tell. I've been able to make it up there. I've seen a couple people make it up there, and it's been with you know perfectly direct inline shots. Yeah, like Josh is saying. But it could, uh, it could potentially need a little bit of more oomph behind it, but that's okay. Yeah. Just makes it challenging. Thanks, buddy. You coming in? Yeah, let me catch yeah. that Yep. As I was saying earlier, I don't trust the structural integrity of them stools. Understood. Right on, Josh. Yeah, no worries. I just figured if you're here, or if you'd like, he's poking around here somewhere. Wait, what are we looking for? Actually, it looks like he's uh, under the hood on a dialed in right now. Up and into that API theater. Yeah, they definitely seem pretty snappy. When I was playing it earlier, I didn't notice anything out of the ordinary. I didn't notice it being underpowered at all. It's just that those shots are super tight, which is what makes it fun. Like that lock shot, you know? Even though it, that would look like it was perfect, um, it looked like uh, you know a little bit off, and you're going to get a little bit of wobble on it. Yeah, I, I was actually I was struggling with it. I, I've been a I've been able shot? to hit it, yeah a little bit more consistently now. Like you can find it, but you got you got to find it. Well, right, yeah. The, everything on this so far, at least to me, is a findable shot. It's just the you know you've, you've got to tune them in. And the other thing that I like is that it, it's mostly controllable. You know, nice little bumps keep it out of the out lanes, and that center post, you know, really helps trying to keep control of that ball as well. I, I, I really enjoy this game. But it, it's those little double bumps like that that are going to push it right out. And yeah, Pit of in under the hood of dialed in. It looks like there's some issues with that going on right now. Trap door wasn't closed on the left loop. 
Okay, there are six, no, what are we looking at? Six, yes, six people left. Six people left. Bob Cho still has no losses. Six people Jeez. left in the local Joe tournament. Has one loss. Everybody Out of 41. Two so Bob Cho plays Joe Strain. One fathom. Rick Prince plays John. That is Shabble cool still. It shows you the total positive money so far. Jerry yeah, Yelp Probot uh, plays Matt Zickowitz on the I, I don't know. What what was the uh Oh, that's good to know. So once you're under 10 seconds on most modes, you shoot the spinner to add more time. That's actually really good to know. What uh, what was the justification beside behind putting the uh, total money added? Just curious if there was like any justification there, or is that just for operators? Like, what what would make you want to do that? Earlier he said that it was something new that was just added. Oh, okay. But if you're running it off uh, off of a, uh, if you think about it, you're running it off of tournament mode where the winner gets the pot. It tells you what it's telling you what the pot is right away. Oh, interesting. Okay. <laughs> Bug. <laughs> Well, I think it works though, for that purpose. <coughs> I didn't realize you're right behind me. I almost caught right on you. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, how do you like it so far? I haven't played it enough, quite honestly. It's played a lot more total than Annihilation. There, there is. So we're talking to Josh, one of the developer guys. Um, there is like so much stuff going on in this game. Like, that, like it's just like I'm, I'm, st I'm not gonna remember it. Like, like if you have gotcha. less than ten seconds okay, the road, and you hit the spinners, it's hit the spinner. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Well, but, thank you for the clarification there, Josh. Yeah, but it's like it's like stuff I don't even know. You know what I mean? Like. And whoever's idea that backlash was to make it look like the theater. Great job. And seance and drunk multi ball. Love the way that it's looks. Like, it's like a stupid workout, but you get stupid points from it, you know? Like, yeah, I stacked the two multi balls just not during seance in that last game. Then, of course, I did literally nothing with the stack multi ball. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't know. I don't like that late. <laughs> <laughs> Over there, it's going to be yeah, it's a future thing, but you should not be showing it now. Then, yeah. yeah, no worry, Josh. Thanks, Thanks for man. hanging out, man. All right, sports fans, we have Nathaniel stepping up to the machine. Missed the skill shot, but open the magic shot. One letter towards Seance, and one letter towards Phil. Actually, I will be right back. Take your time. Now that uh, now that he's gone, what's going on, dudes? How's it going? What are, what are you what are you wearing out there in Internet Land? So, just talking to a couple of the guys around here about the game in general, their general reviews. Everybody has generally positive reviews. Um, you know, some of the folks Nathaniel was playing right now said that you know he needs more time on the game to get a solid opinion. Brian, what's going on? Honest opinion, Brian. How do I look? You don't have to answer. I know the answer is stunning. It's all right. So these guys so far have been making that theater shot like it's nothing. And I have such a hard time getting it. It bounces out a lot for me. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't oil my beard today. I was talking to Chris, we were talking about uh, doing another stream from my place at some point on a weekend because that was pretty fun. Hopefully we get some more people in watching. So he needs to make that milk can shot on the left hand side. It's hard to see from the camera, or maybe it's not, I can't tell. It's hard to see from the camera, but it's this like, uh, very similar to the uh, a, a Star Trek, you know, uh, what is it, not a way team, uh, start mission shot on the left. You kind of have to let it roll just off the edge of the flipper. Beautiful save there. And right there the it is. He is keeping that ball alive by force of will. Uh, yeah, force of will ended. Sorry! 
I'm not going to talk about your ball control anymore, because every time I do, then you drink. And I feel like that's my fault every time. So as always, because I'm sure Matt hasn't said anything yet, make sure you guys are following us if you aren't already. Go ahead and mash that follow button. I don't say any of that stuff. I know. I don't remember. I know. If you're interested in that sexy red, white, and blue hat that Matt is wearing, that is available on our website for $10 plus shipping. And that website is RageTillPinball.com. What's Todd Dougie say? Plus tax and freight. Plus tax and freight, but that's not true. I need a haircut. Did I mention the uh, the 4K camera? You did mention the 4K camera. Okay. Little, whoa. Sure. Let that do. Let that do. That, that's hat hair if I've ever the seen it. The current high score looks like it is Tony Mikowski with 457,025 points. They, they can't read that. What do you mean they can't? Of course they can read. They're intelligent people. We know some of these people in real life. They can absolutely read. I didn't say they couldn't read. I said they couldn't read that. They're holding a the clipboard up and it's going to look backwards to them if I had to guess. Oh, look, look, this looks... That's straight. Oh, yeah, that is straight. Look, what are they doing? We'll, we'll check this fancy computer. Uh, we'll, we'll catch it. Will. Yeah, it will. caught it. All See? Right. Well, when you ready. do that. I'm going to play this. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to play it a little bit. Pete put his quarters up here. Pete wants to go next. He told me to holler when it's ready. You better bump. Yeah, dude. Brian. It, it, yeah. Yep. 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 Which I actually did that the other day. I put up 200,000 points on ball one, which... I thought it was really good, but that, I believe, was just beginner's luck, because frankly, at the time, I had no idea what I was doing on this game. That was exciting. He's got, a lot, he's got a lot lit. Oh. Man, these guys are playing like they know what they're doing. I need to play like I know what I'm doing. Look at these. I need more moves. You do. I don't move enough. That's why I tried to tell you before. It's on the footing. you got to get a nice, stable jump. base. They jump. They I do. kick. I like you to throw kick. one leg out. There I just stand there like a like a blob. Well, handcuff king. That's what they called me on my last job. <laughs> it's awful sexual. <laughs> no, I was a cop. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's like a BDSM. What you don't, you don't find that believable? No. <laughs> oh, because it's true. I wasn't. With some awesome ball control there. He's gonna drain now, and it's gonna be your fault. Yeah, look at that, right up that ramp. Look, see, that ramp is doable, you just gotta be very, very precise on that ramp. That was scary. And saved it. He's got those outside loops lit for something, I don't know what. Oh, and he's got a movie. What's that, red for movie mode? That was gorgeous. There's that repeating loop shot he was talking about earlier. Tremendously good. There it is. And that lock shot, very nice. Use your magic powers, make it fly through the air. Yes! Nicely done. I find that so satisfying. I do that all the time. I'll be like, Aah. Three key hits open stage. So it looks like it's doing the same thing. Ball surge. Yeah. Okay. Actually, no. It looks like the, the ball is up in front of the trunk there. But it still waits to go to a ball yeah, search. Yeah, it's got to do a ball search before it shoots it up to that upside, uh, that top loop, that, or uh, top rail, the yeah. funnel rail. I don't know what that's called. So let it do a ball search. There it is. Up around that outside Back loop. in the spare. Beautiful saves happening right now. I do like that that the uh, the key lane shot. It makes you think that that it's gonna go straight down to the center, but at the last minute it kicks off to the right. Sometimes it does go. To the center. Well, if it doesn't get the good bounce, but three X bonus multiplier. That's a good one. Shoot the key talk. Seems to switch to register and started the movie mode. There it is. Wax, 
dude. Whoa, you know. we got a cheer. Super cool. Thanks, dude. You rock, man. And as always, to the rest of our viewers. So we actually talked about this, but we haven't done it yet. But uh, we thought about doing a, uh, a cheer competition uh, to, for, for our t-shirt. So we'll, uh, we'll finalize that and get you guys something. But as always, we do accept cheers. So thank you very much, Wax. Much appreciated. I love the cow, by the way. I love the cow. So I don't know if you're aware, uh, cows play a prominent role in a lot of pinball machines. So, for example, I think the first time, but I don't think it counts as part of the joke, the inside joke. But uh, first time you see the cow, I think, is in Williams Fire. Uh, when you punch the ball, it plays a cow noise. Or when, when it launches the ball into the lane, it plays a cow noise. But then uh, you see cows in other games. You see cows in Attack from Mars. You see cows in... Oh my god, I'm drawing a blank. But you see cows in tons of games throughout pinball. It was like this inside joke from the guys who were building the machines. Well, I mean, I think Medieval that's super Madness cool. has it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. I think that's super cool. We got Mr. Rudowski up today. Or right now, I should say. And that was Ball great. save. We're good. Oh. There's a nice drop catch there. Cows Valley. Yep. What other game? Does anybody know what games? What games have cow? I'm not looking at that. I'll look it up. <laughs> it's bugging me now. Oh, flipped it straight in there. You're out of there. I will see you later, Nicole. I'll see you tomorrow. See you next week. Enjoy. Have a good evening. <laughs> so we've got Nathaniel up now, starting ball two with uh, 227,000 points. So we'll see what he's able to do there. I'm looking at him. Yeah. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier. The jokes are fantastic. Double flip straight into the seance, which is the combo shot. Oh, here we go. I'm reading this from m.breadband.net, wherever that oh. is. Cows and Easter eggs. Oh. Cows appearing in pinball games start this. Uh, oh, yeah, camera's fun. Wait, is it? A little oh. more this way, sorry. Don't tell. Perfect. You're perfect. Thank you. Cows appearing in pinball games started with Bride of Pinbox. The man responsible was Brian Andy. The cow and fire had nothing to do with cows that appeared all over later on. There we go. <laughs> that's, that's an awesome point. Why eat? Why breathe? Why live without cows and pinball machines? That's what the designer answered when asked, why cows? Fantastic. Wow, that's nuts. Shot it up into it that doesn't trunk. doesn't have a list of who, though. But whatever. Let's see. So it looks like that's the same thing, but it's not sitting in front of it now. It's in the trunk. It's it's in the subway, yeah. Underneath. So let it do a ball search, Nick. Well, we don't have a choice. It yeah, will. well, I don't want to make the flippers to reset it. And you'll see it eventually come out there on the right. No. I just saw... I saw something. There it is. Interesting. Well, I hope that you're able to make some sense out of that, Josh, just so uh, you know, we can help you make sure that the, the code is good. And I'm glad you're here being able to see the... He said earlier it was a mechanical thing. Oh, okay. Well, either way. Mechanical. Love new games, love finding those little issues. I mean, they all have them at this point, so that's exciting. Although... Of all the new machines we've done, we've never had the actual designer on a stream with us. So here's a super That's pretty cool. cool. Yeah, thank you for coming. It's super awesome. We had the owner Jersey Jack with Pirates of the Caribbean, but uh, he was not a designer, and he could answer some questions, but not any of the super deep technical ones like uh, like Josh is able to. That's so, so nice. Sorry, I just yeah. hitting, this, hitting it up there and looping around and. Nicely, Nicely done. done. Oh, can you do it again? Oh, beautiful. Oh, there's a ramp. Oh, oh. 
that that is one of the most frustrating and yet intriguing things about this game is that those shots are insanely tight, and you think you got it, and you know it's a hair, you know, too soon or too late, and you're you don't have it. It's fantastic. There, there we go. Is. I was getting worried. What was that? Was that a pair? Three. Ball three. Trunk multi ball. So I saw the one hit the one ball hit the other. It sent it screaming around the loop there. That was pretty pretty fun. Nice, keeping it alive. And he's got sounds active now too. Get it into that right scoop. Can he stack? Oh, he's in it. Yeah, no, he's in it already. Yeah. Well, he's I only got one, more, one more letter. He got him. Didn't he? Yeah. Nicely done. Wow, I just noticed this. So, like, look, if you look on the. the screen, mm -hmm. like the seance animation's going off, but the score is like behind it. Like oh yeah, amazing. still, still That's super nice. Yeah, absolutely. Like, over, like overlay, that's really nice. It's also nice, uh, I, I do have like a, a an issue with a lot of uh, newer games where like, you just can't see your score during certain modes. Yep. Um, it was a complaint of mine on Ghostbusters. Yeah, ah, Corey! Right. I think Ghostbusters is, is my least... Woo! my least favorite because of, of that very issue. When you're playing with a bunch of people, when a ball ends, you, you can't tell what the hell's going on. You can't tell who's winning, who's losing. You gotta literally wait for the last person to finish ball three in order to tell. Wait, does sales continue to run even when the multi-ball ends? I believe so. Oh, okay. I need to get a Twitch account. Why? So I can join the chat on my own? You have a and, Twitch account. And Raz or something? Oh, I do, don't I? I could, like, log in with my phone and make fun of us. It's like... And it's people like, wouldn't know. There it is. That was beautiful. You really are like an old man, though. Yeah! I don't know if you noticed. How, most how of the do time, I know that most he has the time a Twitch I sit account? Here and stare and at the screen doesn't. and I'm just like... Yeah, how do I know that you have a Twitch account and you don't know that you have a Twitch account? That's alright. I remember to bring that envelope home today. Good. I appreciate that. See, I can do some stuff. Except just color. Except just color. I love color. <laughs> so Corey's crushing it right now. What is that green shot now on the lock? So lock is obviously lit for that loop, but what does that green mean? Oh, inverse reverse or flippers! Reversed or inverted and reversed. Ah. Oh. So yeah, so <laughs> just hit them both. <laughs> I don't understand the plan. I mean, I guess I guess I kind of get Your it. Your brain makes it work that way. Really? Yeah. Because I can't do it. You just hit it like you normally would when you see it going towards the left or right flipper when your arms are crossed, and it just your brain makes it make sense. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what is that green shot then? Oh, that light show. That light show is fantastic. Jeez, that's awesome. Killed it with inverted. Yeah. I like the little story we know Wax. So it's just Matt. Uh, Matt sucks at technology. That's all. That's yeah, no, I, I have one. I forgot. I, I have... I'm going to put this down. Because I wouldn't know how to do it from a phone anyway. Like, I, I would be able to do it from my computer at home. Yeah, Wax, he set all this stuff up. I, I, uh... I, I, I just draw pictures on t-shirts and play pinball. That's really it. I talk, son. 
You do. I'll give you that. You talk a lot. You like it. <laughs> you like it, right? You like it, right? I don't want to mess with the computer. Yeah. I told him oh, it was like... Oh, beautifully done. Oh, yes. You just okay, had like an almost tilt. There's three players left. I feel melting's fantastic. So, Jeff Probot plays Bob Church uh, on Getaway. What a dream. That's so fantastic. You're an animal. You're an animal. Nicely done, man. You're already, I think you're already above. That was only ball of two. Was that only ball of two? Yeah, that was three. I was it? Oh, you're player one. Gotcha. A lot of wood to chop. <laughs> I wish I had seven thousand dollars because I'd buy one of these. If I didn't just spend so much money on uh, starting a company, I probably would too. His end score was. 489818. Which means he is now the new high score holder yeah. for the night. He's going to win that fat stacks of cash. Although, when we started this stream, I did say that our goal was to knock off Steve Bowden. Uh, What's his score? 1.2 million. Oh, Jesus. So. Are you starting another round, Nathaniel? Oh, never mind. Never. I'm gonna try to Don't, don't listen to him. Don't, don't listen, listen to me either. Yeah. I'm gonna get some change. I'll be right back. Right, enjoy, enjoy yourself. Yo, now he's gone. Let's talk trash. That dude's so short. <laughs> Wait, do you need money? Do you need money? I, I have some money if you need it. Buy yourself some lunch. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's a fantastic human being. They're still on the same game. And uh, Corey put on, like, he was playing for the box. Yeah, yeah. Those are crossing those arms. I don't understand. Like, I mean, I guess like, Chris is saying like your brain like works that way, so it'll work. I tried it once, on, on, and I just couldn't. I just couldn't. I kind of just. That was a good pose. I kind of pulled up one foot and I kind of like keeps me. Yeah. Uh, well, oh, these guys have been putting up like long games. Say how's it spelled so we can start that at the right scoop, I believe. And also locking a ball for multi ball. Oh, and going into trunk multi ball. So wait, now could he? Could he actually start Seance Multi Ball during? Yeah, yeah, so he started Seance Multi Ball with Trunk Multi Ball going. What's the, Josh, are you still here? What's the difference in points between a Jackpot and a Super? Because I don't think I've ever seen anyone hit the Seance Super yet. That looked so cool with all the balls coming down at the same time. I need him to hit that last letter of sounds. Thank you. So I don't know if you noticed. I mean, you probably did, but when you're playing, like, I went into this, we were just talking about, like, you still see your score, like, yeah, behind the sounds ghosting. Yeah. Dude, it's so cool. Because we were just talking about playing, like, uh, other modes where things get covered yeah, up. And, yeah, like, other games ridiculous. where it's just, like, yeah, you can't see your score. That's yeah. fantastic. Excellent. Oh, sorry, man. So, all right. So I had the choice for either reverse or reverse. What was the other one? Reverse so, or invert. In, in, so yeah. what, what happens? It pops up. I, and yeah, it's up, and when you hit the flippers, it goes down. Josh was saying on the stream that you could have killed it if you went with the inverted. So it would have been six times multiplier jackpots. jackpots. I don't know if I could have done that. Yeah. So it's yeah. It's essentially, like, the flippers would be up and reverse. So like, oh my God. if you'd hit the left. The left button, the right flipper would go would down. Go down. Yeah, yeah. That's nuts. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, yeah. It's super. It's cool. 
And, and I would, fought the uh, mystery spot on the Simpsons pinball party. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, you, you missed it. Well, I don't want to say you missed it because I'm sure you've seen it. But you could get, um, Corey got the option to do either uh, uh, reverse flippers or reverse inverted flippers. Yeah. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's I, ridiculous. I tried the reverse inverted. I could do it? No, no. Do it Is there an option for just inverted? I wonder. Maybe not. Probably not. Release to flip. Release to flip is how you need to think about it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, that's yeah, easy. Yeah. Let, me, let me just get around the other side of the machine and try to play that one. I think you can play with your elbows. <laughs> that's awesome, though, for like a, you know, a, a challenge mode or a skill mode. Oh, yeah. No, it's super cool. Back in the shooter lane. Is anybody taking down the for yet? No. It doesn't look no. that way, no. It'd be a real shame if something happened and the game had to get, like, reset. <laughs> oh, how much would it cost for a mistake? I'm just kidding. Steve Battle, we wouldn't do And if you just chimp the flippers, it actually makes the, uh, the value of the jackpots go down. That's awesome. Oh, and I don't know if you saw it. If you, I'm sure you have. You played. You played it a bunch, for sure. But uh, I had a earlier. I had a ball drain, and it gave it nice. gave the ball back. And um, without an extra ball. Well, no, yeah, without an extra ball. No, it gave the ball back, and it was like you have to spell seance within 30 flips. Like you can only hit the flippers 30 times. If you can spell seance, you get your ball back. I was like, wow, that's nuts. I have no idea what that mode was, but it was cool. If you just chimp the flippers, it reduce the values of the... Oh. You guys just read that, didn't you? And I'm just reading it. Yeah, no, yeah. He, he, he said it to me. <laughs> and you were talking with Bill, so we'll yeah. allow it. I'm sorry. I'm linked to the chip. It's all right. So, oh, what? Did we hit the lock? Are we waiting? Yeah, we're waiting on the lock. There it comes. So while we're waiting, did I mention that 4K camera? <laughs> <laughs> love this camera. I do love this camera. It does. It does look really nice. I'll tell you what. It looks really nice. And it, I don't know if you guys streaming or have noticed, but uh, you, you see what those cameras aren't doing? Oh yeah, they're not doing that like autofocus thing. Thank you, New Rig. So wait, but doesn't Twitch only show it at like 720 or whatever? It, it does, but there's some settings that we're going to play with later. Are you folks recording locally as well? No, uh, everybody so is. Oh, really? Save it! Yes! Oh, I lost my hand. <laughs> blew your hat off. <laughs> Let's go to the instant replay. Yeah, I've got a... There's a one terabyte. Oh, is there instant replays? Yeah, doing, there is it. Wow. I was doing, trying to get the recording so on, but for some reason it's just plugging the software. Has a buy. Wow, how do you get a buy in the last round? I'm going to type this because I don't want to say things out loud. Three players. What's that? I'm going to type it. Well, Nathaniel's going, can we have tournament chat here? Yeah, absolutely. So, it, uh, so I find it interesting when you get down to three people in like a strikes tournament like this. But like, I'm of the opinion that you should make the three players play each other, like in a, in a one player. In like a game. papa type of format, I think. Yeah, exactly. absolutely. Absolutely. Let's do it. Get, I think if you got down to like the quarterfinals, yeah, you know, and the top four, or the top yeah. eight, have them then do the papa style format. Yeah. I, 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 think, I, I think it's interesting. Like, it's, it, instead of the three strike format, when we're down to three people and you've got somebody getting a buy, Jerry F. Crowbot right now has a buy. So we're talking about tournaments. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I think it's really interesting. You just make the three of them play. Oh, yeah, each other, absolutely. And then the bottom I mean, one gets a strike and you're down to two and you're yep, still yep, on. Yep. I think that's super interesting. Yeah. It'd go yeah, faster. I'm, too. I'm not a huge fan of the street, three strike rule. Like, I mean, obviously, I still do the, the tournaments here because I, I enjoy playing pinball, but. I, I like the the setup of like a pen skate. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's pop style. It's four players. You're all playing together. Top two, you know, get a strike. The bottom moves on, or the top two move on. Later, dude. Later, Later Jeff. Jeff. Jeff, say goodbye to the internet. Why don't you all? Where are you moving? I'll see you here. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call.
Nice. Oh man. I don't know why, but for some reason the dependence on those center posts, I just can't do it. I can't you mentally can't. No, bring myself can't. to to allow I can't. a center post. I like post. center posts. I know you you have such ridiculous confidence in them. I I do not. I can't do it. I agree it is actually going to be really tight on the Twippies next year for the best game. This is definitely going to be up there. Oh, oh. Just insanity. Like, uh, uh. Although, to be fair, no, I'm going to shut up, actually. Yep, yep, yep. yep. You see, because we're on this type yeah, of Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. We got a bad, we got a bad record. <laughs> Not a good streak. We're gonna start a mode or a magic cat. I thought it got into the an alien? API. Is that an alien? Did he have like four legs? Yeah, I'm supposed to look like uh, like a Martian. Yeah. yeah. And a balsa. His graphics kill me. I love the graphics. They, I love them. <laughs> that you absolutely can, Pete. Cisco fever's a good choice. I've got a fever. I like my fever. I like my... I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> I like my flippers like I like my hammocks. Banana style. Because I wear... Because oh. I wear Speedos when I go to the beach. Oh, it's a I thought it was Disco. No, Roller Disco. Wait, what's Roller Disco on? What's, what's Roller Disco? Roller Disco is the other high score game. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's Houdini cool. and Roller Disco. Yeah. Which I enjoy Roller Disco, I'll be honest. It, it, and especially the one that he has here. It, it is in great shape. There it is. Sounds. Sounds in a mode. That's what we wanted before. Wait, is that what we wanted? That is. That's how you get high scores. At least I believe that's how I interpreted it from Josh. Since he's the authoritative answers for all of that here. Yes, that was good. Up and around that loop. Almost up and around that loop again. Nice Man, bounce. Beautiful bounce. Done. If you hit that spinner, you had more time. <laughs> Whoa, what was that screen that was just up? What, the jackpot? No. Well, because he's doing a mode at the same time was the mode screen? Maybe it was. I was just looking at the play field, so I wasn't even paying attention. Just needs to see. Oh, the I didn't see the A. Yeah, he's behind the ghost. So where's that one then? It's up on the yeah. It's, you see where the lock oh, shot yep, is? Yep, it's yep, just yep, to yep. the left of it. Here, dudes, we're being a. I'm we're being a little hundred percent a spectator right yeah. now. So the I agree, Brian trick. Thomas, twenty nine. Oh, it's fucking needle. Trick. 
the, the, the part of the picture freaks me out when he's like pulling the needles out of his mouth. I know it's just like animation, but it still messes with me. Exactly. Like it is. Down like a hundred So he's immediately started trunk multi ball then in the needle mode. Which is killer because everything's currently worth 100 points. Like everything is 100 points. Everything is flashing. Oh my gosh, that spinner. That is a fantastic sound effect on that spinner. Isn't the spinner? No, it's just hitting targets. Well, yeah, but when he hit the spinner, it's. it's oh, like, it went fast? Yeah. Gives you like. Oh! Oh, I see. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, gosh. Did you just say that? I didn't say that. No, I think that's what the machine just said. Wait, did you really say I that? I don't know. Yeah, it said Bazinga. The stand-ups will increase the value of the shots. Oh, okay. That was beautiful. So we're at 982,000 points. Get right into the magic escape. hole. What is that? Return from beyond or escape death. I think return from beyond is that, that ball thing where it like, gives you 30... 30 flips. Okay. Almost up that ramp. Beautiful drop catch. Holy crap. Almost up into that lock shot. It's not really worth it now. I love that. I love that. There is so much going on in this game. It really is. And I feel like everywhere I look on the play field, I'm seeing like a new uh, feature, a new art, you know, something like that. <laughs> Robot. It's fantastic. Okay. That's awesome. <laughs> Oh, cool. There it is. So he's over a million points, by the way. Be cool. Be cool. There's that progress map. That's what I saw earlier. Did he my score? Huh? Did he beat my score yet? <laughs> nice. So he has both outlanes lit for uh, for modes once he drains the ball. If he drains the ball and yell. Extra balls lit. Where? All right, Scoot. So this is the video mode. Yeah, I, it's I uh, amount of pressure on the flippers to throw the cards. Nathaniel, you're in video mode. Oh. <laughs> the longer you hold the, the flipper in, the higher you flip the card kind of thing. Oh. Okay, this is obviously going to take some work. <laughs> Four Houdini letters now. That's super impressive. And an extra ball. And an extra ball. Nicely done. And he's still got the outlines. 
So I did want to play this, but uh... I would be fine. I, I'm more than fine just watching this. So this is almost uh, GC territory. Oh, no, it's not, a, not, not, not spoiling anything by not talking about it. We're just right, going to talk so, with our mouths. All right, so, we're, like so we're not actually saying it back. That post. I just, I can't do it. I envy those who are able to take so much advantage. See the new Shoot Again animation. Oh, uh, yeah, oh, cool. all right, yeah, he was talking about it earlier, but we didn't know he picked up the extra ball. Well, that's exciting. So what happens if you get all the Houdini layers? Oh, I don't know. Is that like some kind of wizard mode? Magician mode? Oh, <laughs> It's all a trick and it's an illusion. Tricks are for hookers. Jesus Christ. So excited. Much wow. Absolutely lemon half. <coughs> almost up that ram. Look at that drop. Man. It's almost as if he's like a pro or something. That should be ball two then. You were though. <laughs> you were high school for one. <laughs> and that's gonna put him in the trunk, back in the trunk, multi ball. So again, on the same ball. Ah, oh, same guy. I like that. Oh, he's fucking bouncing. Trying to line up and figure out what he's going for there. He shot, I think. See, that's what I tell everybody all the time. Like, pinball machines. Is that spooky? The spooky ghost? Is that the spooky ghost? That's fantastic if it is. Gave him a ball lock. Um, that's. But uh, yeah, is that pinball machines make you want to play fast? The, the game wants to play fast, and like the trick is is like to slow it play down. Slow it down. Yeah, make absolutely. the game play at your speed. Yeah. Yep. And that's one of the big things that I try to stress to new players as well is you know it, 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 take control of that ball. It doesn't matter how long you sit it cradled up, keep control of that ball, and you'll have a good time, you know, and you'll be able to make those scores. Damn, dude. <laughs> Which, oh no, you're fine. Uh, we're, we're like, we're like flabbergasted. We're like, bah. yeah, this is fantastic. I don't know if you just saw. Were you, were you watching when he just uh, hit that and shot with the from hat? Beyond. Where, but no, he hit the shot with the hat and the hand pulled the fucking spook. She got thirty flips to spell yeah. say yeah. Can you yeah. do it? He's got eight. Oh. oh. It might give him. Hold on. This is have. All right. So this is going to be the return oh, that was. from Beyond. No, no, no. no or, uh, I'm sorry. The the. No, that's what he was in. Right, right, right. What I'm saying is this is going to be the animation for Oh, the animation shoot for again. Extra Ball. There's new animation for Shoot Again. Ah, yeah, it's a monkey! <laughs> that's fantastic. Wow, this is... So, that's, uh... <laughs> so, I am pretty sure this is, uh... <laughs> I don't believe you there, Josh. You didn't make it tough enough. Uh, <laughs> so clearly, I didn't make the game tough enough. In the words of Ron Burgundy, I don't believe you. He plays man's frozen the nights for a hundred years. He tries to find a small slot in the same asylum. 
choose the stage to free him from the ice and from the insane side. Interesting. I haven't seen this mode before. Oh, come on. Oh, there's beautiful save, beautiful save. I shoot the stage and I get a ball. I misread that. Yeah, no, no, you you didn't misread it. Okay, suddenly I've got three balls to play, and I have no idea why. Four and five. So, the the developer's saying, yeah, you shoot the stage to add the ball, extra balls into play. So you did it right. Okay, I must be in a wizard mode of some kind now or something. Uh, you escaped the asylum. <laughs> you gotta shoot the robots or something? Oh. No! Whoa! What's that? What's that for? What is I don't that? Remember what Steve had. I don't remember what Steve had either, but that is right up there. Well, that's a good bonus. That's a great bonus. It's not all about the size of your bonus, guys. Did you? Use it. Yeah, 1.3, so that's new Grand Champion. All right, new Grand Champion score. An amazing ball. I said when we started this, we wanted somebody to beat Steve Bowden. If so. you want to see your own game later, it stays on Twitch. You can go watch it. Like, should, should we interview Nathaniel? You want to, he, doesn't, I asked him before, he doesn't want to be interviewed. Wow, that was nuts. So, like, the entire time, also, when you're playing, we're over here talking, and we're like, don't talk about how good he's doing, because every time we talk about how good he's doing, it makes him lose. So we're like typing crap in our own chat room. We're like, we're not going to say anything out loud, but he's doing real good. Grand so, champion, there he is. You were asking about this earlier, Nathaniel. Somebody in the chat just said that uh, Bowen just reached Reactor 9 on TNA. Nice. Yeah. Reached it or finished it? Uh, reached it. Oh, no. Destroyed Reactor Destroyed 9. Destroyed Reactor 9. Yeah. So That's awesome. First place yep. Until he was That's awesome. Time, so. I'm gonna have to see. I hope that was on video. I'm, I'm gonna have to watch that. And there's enough letters. Well, thank you for hanging out with us, man, Bookie. Appreciate yeah, it. I'm like in the old days on the Nintendo where I only got eight letters. Yes. So I was always the Pin. Wow, that was an amazing ball. Uh, that's that absolutely. Like, not ball. Like, just ball, like not game. Like it was an amazing ball. Where's Pete? He wanted to play. That's fantastic. Oh, Nicely done, man. Nicely done. So we got to uh, see where Pete's at. I've got quarters up as well, so I'll join you. Don't look at me like that. You want in for it? Uh, no. Sure. No, I had one good game. That's enough. There's no way I'm gonna catch something. Million. I'm just doing it for fun. I know. I know. I'm not gonna catch it. Not with that attitude, Corey. What? Not with that attitude. Corey. <laughs> not with that that attitude. <laughs> all right, all right. So we're gonna see. So you just watch one ball last 26 minutes. You're now gonna watch okay, nine balls last about five. Oh, oh he didn't write his score in. Uh, didn't even write your score in. We did it, Bill. We did I it. One point three million. Daniel did. All right, cool. We just, New uh, grand champion. Listen, Daniel didn't write it down. Before. <laughs> 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 he didn't write it himself. <laughs> 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 it doesn't count. He actually has the grand champion score now, so if you want to verify that, yeah. 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 and he got to write his whole name in there. Oh, God. All right. See what Chris can do here now that we're, we're, we're back on the machine. Okay, we're let we're let Chris go finish here. I were, no, we were. It's like a score, sir. High, high score. I know we were trying to do this yeah, thing where like me and Chris aren't going to play in the same game, so that way there's always somebody kind of sitting here. But we're running out of time, and I wanted to put in another game. Joe has a shot here. Two fifteen going so far. No ball to. But yeah, no, the, 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 the flipper control, like that, that's what I was talking about. Like, um, 
It's all in, well, what's that? They carved it into the machine. <laughs> <laughs> but like, even though there's like like a lot of sh shots and the shots are tight and hard to get and stuff like that, like if you go back and you watch like Nathaniel's performance, like, like he was missing shots. Like he was missing the lock shot. He was missing stuff. But the thing was that like when he did miss, he would just get the ball back under control again. You know, it's like, okay. I missed, let's, let's, let's start with, uh, get back and start over. Game. So with a high score of roughly 1.3. So Chris going to lock a ball over here. We have Nathaniel Gibson. Nathaniel, step forward. Yeah. You win. You win. Where is he? He's gone. Oh, it must be present to win. Here comes Lenny. It was, the, it was in the show. match room. Yeah. <laughs> Nathaniel wins on Houdini with 1.3 million. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. All right. 1.3 million. That's nuts. And they're over four player game. So for the main tournament. So Chris not being any slouch here with his we foot control himself. Third place. Third place. Bob Choke. Bob Choke, step up. You get six. Hey, all right, Big Daddy, hours. good job. Good job. Good job. I'm up. And second place. We have Jerry F. Burroth. $33. All right. Congratulations, Jerry. And the winner. Hey, does that mean we're tied, Pin Daddy, then? Because I think it has me at uh, at 10. Is Rick Prince. Woo, Rick! He wins nice. Rick Prince won tonight. Rick Prince. All right. So after he finishes his ball, we will get a picture of you guys. And we'll see how Robert Disco turns out. Nicely done, man. Nicely done. Oh, look at that. Thank you guys for hanging out with us tonight. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Reverse and inverted? Oh, get out of here. This is ridiculous. Swap your hands. All right, so Matt's in the reverse and inverted flippers. <laughs> so that is... That's so confusing. Yeah, that's awesome. I did that's find pretty cool, that's pretty cool. I did find that actually like switching hand position like mentally helped. At well, least and that's for a little that's bit. actually what Josh was saying, and, yeah. and I, I absolutely agree in that your brain is wired because of the amount yeah. that we play pinball. You know, right and left. Yep. So when you invert them, yeah, you're inverting. I, I, that, the like first time I played it, actually, I got into that mode, and I didn't want to do the inverted, but uh, I did the reverse, and the reverse it, it definitely made uh, yeah. made it ten times easier when you flip your hands. But I had also never gotten into that on like Ghostbusters or anything like that. Yeah. So that was my first experience with inverted flippers. Our, our, our friend Joe Miller did a like just a thing at his house, and he had one of his games which was he wired it so that the buttons were actually reversed. That's awesome. And, and the one rule was that that some people like if you're inexperienced were allowed to cross their hands, but like if you had a good IPA rating, like you weren't allowed to do that. So mentally, you just had to. It was a, it was a, a flip flop, is that, what it was. That's actually a good name. For yeah, it. I like that because it's got both that and the upper play field, and it was. Uh, uh, set relatively low, nice. but this was like okay, right. good reverse, and it seems to work out in terms of mentally. Yeah, yeah. Well, the score, the score out. So, four hundred fifty-eight thousand oh seventy. Then it's the wrong. So, uh, T and A or Houdini? That's that's a hard decision. I like them both for very, very different reasons. Awesome, Rick Prince won. Uh, but yeah, I, I like them both for very different reasons. Houdini is a, a unique title, which I'm all about unique titles anymore. Not, you know, music or movies or whatever. It's, it is a unique title. I love that about it. But, I mean, the same can be said for TNA. Now, with Houdini, 
there's so much going on. I love it for the complexity and I love it for the tightness. Whereas with TNA, I love it for the simplicity and for the brutality of it. That game is, is insanely fast and it makes me love it and hate it at the same time. But Houdini, it, it's got those easy shots, it's got the hard shots, but it's completely complex and it would take me a long time to figure out each one of those modes, which, which I really like about that. But TNA is just a gorgeous game, like there's no disputing that. So Matt Escape Jail it looks like. Yeah, 100% Josh, you need both in the con your collection. Ah. Oh, rough, man. Good score, though, on ball one. Thanks. Just the, the bottom one. I know, but I'm getting Harry's form. Oh, okay. <laughs> no worries. I came here with Harry, so. Oh, okay. All right, fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. Steal our... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all hopped up on Red Bull and Bishop. Yeah, no. <laughs> I was like, go take that. <laughs> all right. Hey, thanks for watching our stream, dude. Uh, I just saw it through. It's my Wednesday night now. Like, Alright! Popping some dinner, watch some rage film. Very cool. Good stuff. I, uh, it's very exciting. Let's try it. I would definitely buy a Houdini. You know what, I would definitely buy yeah, a TNA. Okay. Uh, so that's exciting. That's going to be a whole lot of money on my pocket. <laughs> it came, it's so fast. It's fun, but it's so yeah. fast. But I would also buy the Pirates of the Caribbean, too. If we're talking new games right. and what we're going to spend money on, that new Pirates game is fantastic. You haven't had a chance to play I'm like, it I've yet. I've only played it. you, you got to play right. it. And I only played five that times, one one time. Five one three three balls. Yeah. On That's going to be one of those things where it's like, I'm going to have to play this a lot. In order to like even, you know, oh yeah, absolutely, and that's why to me TNA and Houdini are not apples to apples. That is definitely apples to oranges, you know, because TNA is a, it, it, it might as well be just a remake of a, a an old EM, which I love. It's a unique theme. The music is amazing, but again, it, it's not really mode based. You know, you have one objective, and you know you can. It, it, there's not a whole lot going on, but. Oh yeah, absolutely, Josh. But I, I, games like Houdini and, and you know Pirates and that kind of stuff, there's so much going on in them that I feel like it would take you a million years just to get through all the modes. And and with TNA, you know, it's just brutally fast and, and mean, so it would take you a while to get through Reactor 9, you know. Nobody had done it until, obviously, uh, somebody said earlier today that uh, Bowen was able to finally get into it. But as of earlier today, I was looking and, and I didn't see anybody get past Reactor 9. I saw them to, to 8, but not to 9. So it, it's a challenging game, it's a lot of fun, but I mean, again, it's not apples to oranges. But I, I would definitely buy both of these games. And Pirates, I want to play it more once the code is complete. Um, Jersey Jack actually released some screenshots of that earlier this week, and, and it was just gorgeous. So I'm going to go play, I'll be right back. Bit of movement, you to see. I'm not, dude, I'm not stressing out. Oh, you like to sit here, you like to yap. Me, 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 me. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm glad somebody caught that bit, Daddy. <laughs> because I was doing it for a while. Uh, so I put more quarters in TNA, I would buy Houdini. Very difficult. Mode driven game. I agree. Um, as far as mode driven games as opposed to like lightning fast, kind of 80s style games. Um, both have their fun. Um, I think he was already saying it though, like, you know, to have a game that you can sit at home and you can play and you can play and you can play and there's just more and more and more and more to unlock and do. There's a nice feeling behind that. You know, because there's only so much you're going to do on location or on, like, a pay game. You know, like a game that you're, you're pumping dollars into. Um, there's only so many dollars you're going to be willing to spend. And it would take a whole lot of dollars before I would even come close um, to getting anything done on this. Huh? Look at this guy go. Oh. Uh, yeah. Multi. 
So what, since we watched Nathaniel, now we're all like trying to like focus right, on our exactly. ball control. You know what I mean? Like, we're like, all right, now we saw how like, it's done. Right. Now we're going to try like, and do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, favorite mode on Houdini from what I've seen? Um, I'm going to be honest, I've gotten seance more than anything. And I would say just because that's what I've gotten more than anything, that's currently my favorite. I really want to try the video mode. I haven't achieved it yet. Because uh, I think that looks like a lot of, a lot of fun. And he picks up a jackpot. Alright, thanks for streaming, oh. guys. I'm gonna head yeah. out. Have a good one, man. See you. Yep. Soon. Yeah, absolutely. Corey, the guy who runs the uh, Philip Pinball League in the road. Excellent guy if you're in the Philadelphia area. And by Philadelphia area, it means like greater Philadelphia area. Um, oh, man, they have this up on the widescreen. I didn't even know that. Um, the greater Philadelphia area um, uh, selfie league that runs uh, I forget when this was running to but it's still open and you can still join there's tons of different locations to play at uh, last uh, season uh, Beck and I actually went out and played every single location and we got to see a lot of really interesting places a lot of interesting games a lot of fun oh no problem yeah 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 did I pronounce that right oh no it's yacht like a boat the ship Schooner, yeah, yeah, Yahtzee, no problem. One minute call. <coughs> this will probably end up being our last streaming game. Ah, oh, do it! It reversed an imp. You gotta hold it. So he's doing the reversed imported flippers. He's crossing his arms. So in this mode, what we're seeing um, is so essentially you let go of the button to make the flippers flip. So when you're holding the flippers, in, when you're holding the buttons in, the flippers are down. And not as easy as it looked, was it? All right, now he should be back to regular ball play. It's super difficult, but it's fun. It, it, it's like it's exciting. Like it's it's a, a, an element of excitement. I like. It. Do other games have reverse flippers? Are there other games with reverse flippers? Yeah, uh, Ghostbusters. 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 Uh, like, there's like 20 dudes around. Because <laughs> everybody, everybody only sees me on the thing. I like it. Cactus Canyon continued. Does it? Cactus Canyon continued? That's cool. Was? Does that it? Somebody said was? Oh, yeah. It's a reverse flipper? Oh, it's me. That's me, right? That's you. Right. Yeah, for being the first pinball machine that American Pinball has come out with, like, I gotta say, it's fantastic. And it's all thanks to Josh. He is on the stream here with us. That is him. Nice, yeah, Josh was actually just telling us about Southern Pride. I absolutely agree. It is a oh, winner. I made the shot and I still And again, it's the little things that, that make me love this game even more, especially with the you know the, the textured tie-down bar and, and metal plates around the buttons. To, it just it makes no, the gears on the flipper prints. Yeah, the, the 3D printed gears on the flipper, I assume they're 3D printed, it looks that way at least. Uh, it, it's fantastic. I absolutely love it. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. I don't know how much longer we're going to be hanging out. Um, they are, we are finished the tournament. We've got Rick Prince as a winner, so we're just buying our time at this point. So at any moment, we might be uh, ending our oh, stream here. Anything. And was Matt was green. Time, yeah. yeah, absolutely, right? The, that's what I was saying earlier. The, the pop bumpers are amazing. But I'm going to let Matt sit and move over one. I'm just going to rest my gut on the chair here. Your wide is body that frame. Track, is that attractive, Internet? Ugh. I love how you refer to people on, on Twitch as the Internet. That's what it is, man. It's the Internet. I got, we're, we're in the year 2018. Haven't you checked? Rock? Or you can what? The internet. Oh, <laughs> I got, I got, I got, uh, I got the Google now. I got the Facebook. I don't got the MySpace anymore. I'm too cool for that. 
Do you think all those old MySpace accounts are still floating around? They are. Like, you think my old MySpace account is out there somewhere? And unless you uh, disabled it, it's still there. Oh man, that's embarrassing. I put so much glittery text on that stuff. Mine was flowers at one point, right? Yeah. I believe the photo is Chatterbait. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what you want to watch. <laughs> I think that's that somebody... I, I already know what that is, I think, from, from the name of the... From, from the porn hubs. <laughs> from the porn hubs. <laughs> <laughs> is somebody, is, are you hitting on him, Yachty? Because that's pretty funny, actually. It's all right. I'm a good-looking dude. I can't help it. I was born this way. Right? All right, Lady Gaga. Take <laughs> he, it down he's, he's over here laughing. Because <laughs> we all know the truth. <laughs> All right. I could play this all day. I really could too. And it would take me a year and a half to figure out what the hell to do. Although having Josh here makes it ten times easier. And it would take him another year just to get good at pinball. Ah! Bird. Going, Eric. Thanks, man. A loyal He's customer. So nice. Yeah. He's so nice. He's very nice. Harry's a good guy. It's nice that. No, but uh, I mean, like, authentically nice. Like, well, yeah. Well, what, 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 you're gonna call him nice when he's not authentic? No, no, nice? no, but I mean, like, you know, like, you meet people, like, people meet me, and they're like, ah, oh, first I met you, and I thought you were gonna seem like a jerk because the way you looked. And I mentioned, I realized you're a really nice exactly guy. Exactly the same as my face value of impression. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, like, and they're like, but then I realize you're a nice guy. But, like, I'm a nice guy. Like, it's like, yeah, I'm a nice guy. I'm, I'm, I'm friendly. I, I, you know, I, whatever. But, like, he's an authentically nice dude. Like, I met him, and I'm like, this is a nice dude. He's a nice dude. Mm -hmm. It's going to be weird if he goes back and watches this later. Why is it going to be weird? Harry, if, I, if that weirds you out later, I'm sorry. I think he's hitting on you, Harry. I am not. Just the, saying, you're a nice guy. The sexual right, tension is palpable. I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> Cut that shit with a knife. <laughs> <laughs> So only two letters left in one, two letters left in seance. I need him to get this jackpot. I need him to. I like that I can hear like TNA in the background. So he's like in seance multi ball. It's like, like reactor, reactor, reactor ready, and it's like, wow, oh, what's the, what's the reactor? So not to take any glory away from Houdini by any means, but I gotta say I'm super excited to do the stream tomorrow on Total Nuclear Annihilation. You can play that. I'll just play this again. You're up. All right. I'll be right back. That wasn't a bad ball, dude. I like the lighting effects. I like the lighting effects. All the lights go out and then they kind of like swell back in. Oh, look, he's got he's got the name Sean spelled very awkwardly. Oh, now it's now I spelled seance. Oh yeah, dude, I'm ready for. So so serious talk here, uh, Josh. Uh, I know you can't tell us if you guys have a next theme or what it's going to be, but if I could just suggest an original theme pinball machine, I think you should go with mozzarella sticks. Mozzarella sticks, a themed pinball machine, or just pizza crusts, not pizza. Just a pizza crust themed pinball machine. I think those two will be hit. Yeah, see, it's all right. I'm here talking about mozzarella themed, mozzarella sticks themed pinball machines. I'm surprised you didn't uh, Rocky Horror. Well, no. If I so if it was if they were gonna do like a rock theme or a music theme, I would absolutely say Rocky Horror because that would be a perfect pinball machine. Man, Chris is doing really well keeping this ball alive. <laughs> he said there's not sure there's enough of that to make a machine. Oh, did I curse you? <laughs> it's my turn. Well, let's let, let's combine the two and we can make a pizza crust and mozzarella sticks themed pinball machine. So we're set. Why don't we just call it the pizza shop? <laughs> the pizza shop game. The it's meme a, machine. It's not a diner, it's a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's definitely understandable, Josh. Now you know what you gotta do. You gotta get one of the uh, big pizza companies 
Just Domino's has a machine already. Do they? There's a Domino's pizza pinball machine. Well, then Papa John's needs one. <laughs> <laughs> Papa John's. Just call Papa John's. Tell them, listen, you need a pinball machine. And we'll That'd be fantastic. Fine. Give me like a million dollars. I'll make it. Right? <laughs> Shared ramp and then the ramp. I don't know why Morse code makes me think it's a robot voice. Shared ramp. It's not in binary. How much points does Seance, but wasn't able to. Did you see that magnet? That's glorious. Oh, Taking full I'm advantage so of that center ball. post and then immediately draining. That's exciting. Nicely done, Matt. Mm -hmm. Hey, man. I was trying. I was trying. Poorly, but yeah, sure. I love giving you shit. Meme machine, that'd be interesting. That'd be very interesting. It'd be hard to do. I need to watch the Houdini. Yeah, uh, Yahtzee, the, uh, the guy playing the machine, he, I think he's got seven of them or so. I do not own any yet. I'm too busy buying gear for streaming to, uh, to buy pins. So we can bring you all of this Houdini gloriousness. No! Oh, I saw that coming a mile away. Ah! Was that only ball two? That's ball three. Was it? No. Oh, I think I'm done for the evening. Are we yeah, done for the evening? I think we are. So guys, appreciate you hanging out with Later, us. Later, dudes. We will be live tomorrow starting... Um, let's see. Uh, Yes, we are from Philadelphia. Um, we'll be live tomorrow on Total Nuclear Annihilation. Um, thank you, thank you. I will actually be at that parade on Thursday. I am super excited about it. Um, thank you, Chase, if I've got appreciated. All of you hanging out, make sure you mash that follow button. Subscribe to us if you like it. We also do accept bits and all of that. Underneath of that stream, you will see all of our social media stuff. and. Uh, yeah, that is exactly my plan, Yahtzee. But uh, all of our social media is below, all of the links, all of the, the links to our website as well, where you can pick up awesome shirts like the big blue one you see up there, the I'm not fat, I'm a wide body, and uh, Matt's fantastic hat. But uh, again, I'll shut up. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, dudes. Like and buy our crap.